I've got to be punished. Chris Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton hates the grace, the gays, the ways, Illuminati's Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton hates gangsters and gangs, visit eggs, and gang bang rapes. Everybody listen, really close, look at Von Helton about to make it toast. Do a video, tell us the status quo, and then it'll post, cause that's how it goes, that's how we rolls on this TV block show. I know you know you dig the Von Helton flow, it's time to move, like both of our posts, so baby let's go, it's the Von Helton show. Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton hates the grace, the gays, the ways, Illuminati's Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton. Helton hates gangsters and gangs, lizard eggs, and gang bang rapes. Tick a tack tack, Von Helton is back. Back from the dead, he rose again, standing in the flesh. What you didn't expect, please show some respect or get the deck pressed up against your neck, and you'll never forget. One word that he said, or you're gonna regret that you didn't sit and ponder. Von said, You don't wanna mess with these really big iguanas. Von Helton, Von Helton. Von Helton, Von Helton hates the grace, the gays, the ways, Illuminati's Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton hates gangsters and gangs, lizard eggs and gang bang rapes. Yo, it's first three, I'ma rip it up wrong, don't mess with Von or you're gonna be gone. He's not a bad guy, don't get on his bad side, he'll do. Thank you, John, the dark side. He'll make you die. He'll bruise you right out. So now, one side is a blur half the time. We're on battle some demons. We need to get some lives. Cause all they do is fight a bunch of dead guys. You can smell these guys from miles like flies. And the body odor is wild surprise. He dies all the time. That's how we realize he has a great future that'll benefit mankind. Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton hates the grace. The gays, the ways, Illuminati's Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton, Von Helton hates gangsters and gangs, lizard eggs and gang bang rapes. Development. Welcome, 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 everybody. I uh, hope you're having a nice Saturday evening or a Sunday afternoon if you're in Australia. Um, so, I found some interesting information some people were asking about Andrea, aka Mouse, and sort of what happened there and what happened to the kids. And I uh, found a really good documentary um, by, and I'll just link that now in the chat. Um, Merkwig Farm, um, did a two-parter, um, goes 40 minutes and about 30-something for the next one. Um, it's really, really good though, some information that I'd heard of, but sort of confirmed, and there's lots of receipts in here too, so hopefully, um, you enjoy this, and, uh, uh, I've watched the first part and most of the second, it's, it's really interesting. Just how much of a vile scumbag Vaughn is. Um, I don't have any guests on with me. Um, Michael Carey, uh, any of the mods want to come on, um, you know where I am. Um, but uh, without further ado, um, I will play the start of this documentary. Fuck you, I ain't apologizing for jack shit. This is Andrea Locke, aka Andrea Von Helm, aka Mouse. She's a young she was a young girl from a small town small to medium sized town in Alabama. Um central about central Alabama. 
she um, was on Singles Net and came across Von Helton, although Von Helton didn't have a paying account, so he, you know, he just got on there and he found Andrea and told him, told her his, his random lies that he tells any other woman. But Andrea was very gullible and naive and, and believed some of the things. Von Helton told her that he had a ranch in uh, Kentucky, owned horses and all kinds of animals, had a working ranch. And Andrea, who always wanted to live on a farm, uh, found that intriguing. Uh, also, Andrea had grew up without a father. I don't know what happened with her father and what time stage in her life. She no longer had a father, but uh, that's her own personal business. But she, um, she uh, was um, approached by Von Helton even more than, and found it interesting about possibly coming up to see him. Well, Von Helton then switched gears and went into the uh, world calamity and that the world was going to come to an end and he needed to come up, she needed to come up to his place uh, to be safe, that somehow the mountains surrounding his... Oh, hello, Solomon, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I, uh, Just turn you off know. a little bit. There you go. <laughs> you didn't come dance. You didn't come when I come beckoning. <laughs> yeah, your beckoning was dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> that's, that's why. <laughs> that's that's the code word for come on live, dance, monkey, dance. Well, that's what I'm sure. Uh, that's what Carrie says to Michael. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably well, it's it's possible. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> So yeah, so this um, this is Andrea on screen. Um, she's been on screen before. This isn't doxing anything. Um, yeah. And uh, this is poor poor experience that she went through. Um, typical abuse survivor um, scenario. But she's out of that now. And apparently, according to Secular, doing better. Um, that was in that last stream we had yesterday. So I thought it'd be good to show this point of view. Um, and this documentary is actually quite good, so let's keep going. A uh, farm that he told her he had was uh, protected by whatever calamity was going to hit the earth. And that uh, if she came up there, she'd be safe. And and, and Dan is naive. And, and Andrea is also mentally ill and um, developmentally disabled. Um, so so her mental faculty faculties were not up to uh, her age. So she, like a young child, believed Von Helton's lies and um, took took some of the money she inherited and bought a bus ticket and gathered all her stuff and moved up to um, Kentucky and met Von Helton at, at Manchester a Greyhound bus station. And I went on Signal's Net and I bumped right into Andrea. We did discuss marriage, children, sex uh, we were talking on singles net I did not have a paying account to singles net she did so she had to communicate with me but it was okay she liked older men anyway when I first like met him he told me like about how the world was going to end that I needed to come up here to stay with him you know to um, survive whatever you know it is he was talking about like he had me like convinced because he had uh, showed me you know numerous uh, uh, things. I was so happy, guys. You have no idea. I you know, I couldn't even get a girlfriend. I couldn't even get a one night stand. I couldn't get nothing. Nobody. Not a zip. And now here finally is somebody back in my life. You know I have found me somebody finally. But you know what? She's young. She's impressionable. She's naive. She is not a kid. Quit that shit. That's stupid. Andrea had no idea what she was getting herself into. She didn't know the extent of Von Helton's lies and, and his insanity. Um, she moved in to his trailer and his mother, Von Helton's mother, was unaware that Von Helton lived there. Andrea found out very quickly that Von Helton didn't have a farm. And... Uh, that he was merely just living in his mom's trailer, uh, didn't have any jobs, any money. And in fact, the money that Andrea did have, Von Helton took and spent upon himself, bought new computer parts. He bought her a few things with her own money as if he was being charitable to her. But uh, he took what she had and squandered what money she had from her inheritance uh, that from some relative or something 
she had a little bit of money and uh, Von Helton made both of them poor because as soon as Von Helton gets money, he spends it on himself regardless if it's his money or not. And so um, there she was at about three days after living there, uh, Von Helton's mom discovered she was there. Von Helton's mom told her she, need, she should go back to Alabama, which was, I think, a warning. Uh, Von Helton's mom's quite aware of... Uh, of Von Houten's abuse and other things, but Andrew just chose to stay, and um, the nightmare began. To Von Helton's vow, uh, listen to the vows here, and um... sorry, <laughs> that's on mute. I was just reading the chat. When Von Helton saw his mother on the floor of the trailer, he left her there, come back once again, saw that she was still there, and then the third time he decided to call 911. That's from what Blue saying. Um, what do you think of that, Silent? Uh, I think it's uh, pretty disgusting. Um, so in um, my my personal life a little bit, my grandmother, she had a uh, stroke, and we found her on the floor in her home. And it was that instant. As soon as we saw her on the floor next to her bed, we called 911. Hmm. Like, that is what you're supposed to do. Like, it's just disgusting. Not, not even a little bit would I have ever turned around without making sure she was okay and without calling 911, even if she said she was okay. Like, yeah. Yeah, just, just it's, horrible. It's disgusting. And uh, the first thing he wants to do is get, get her pregnant as soon as she moves in, have a kid, and then get married, and then kids, more kids follow. Um, all while not even thinking, wanting or thinking about getting a job. He's just living off his mum and the taxpayer, as it says in the, in the comments there, in the notes. Um, well, let's see more of the wedding. Vows are like an oath, and this proves that Von Helton is unable to keep an oath or of any type. Um, just pay attention and uh, remember what Von Helton has done. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, my wife. Thank you, my wife. And having to hold, and having to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, for sickness and in health, for love and to cherish, for love and to cherish, until we are part of my death. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. You can see how James Von Helton didn't keep his uh, promise to his wife, to a preacher, and to the audience there. Um, in many aspects, Von Helton is about him and not about anybody else. And uh, you can see clearly in his life that uh, he did not keep what he said. He made those promises to her, spoke those to her face, and uh, and didn't do them. Uh, okay. With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. Be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Okay. Yeah. So, she wants to take the picture. Oh, she wants to take the picture. Okay. So the nightmare began. Not only for Andrew, but now children.
That's a, a big one too. You would not change the diapers um, and you'll learn other neglect uh, in this video as well. <laughs> um, that's, yeah. So that you made, made her do everything. You made her do everything. All on her and every time, it seems like every time she could get pregnant, she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, yeah, there's this some where she I won't <laughs> won't spoil anything that's coming up, but it just gets worse and worse and worse. Like this is the the tip of the tip of the iceberg. Like sometimes I'd be so exhausted that that um I I would ask him to change it up, and then he would start with me and be like, "No, you change it," you know. And 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 I'd always, you know, try to put myself, you know, to get him to, you know, do stuff with me and the kids. And he half the time he wouldn't even do that. My wife, my wife does not understand the, the concept of priorities, okay? She does not understand that you can't tend to one person and then tend to other stuff at the same time. Sometimes you have to prioritize. I'm trying to teach my wife how to prioritize things, and it is not easy. She does not grasp the concept. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. No, it is James who doesn't understand priorities. Family always comes first. Your family's your priority over your internet hangouts and trying to get people to puff you up and sing your praises about how great you are and how important you are and how much your internet life is. Um, that's the wrong priority, Von Helton. It's not Andrea who doesn't understand priorities. It's you. You are the one who doesn't understand priorities. He would literally push the kids out of the room to do his show. Andrea was left to tend to the kids, try to keep the house clean, and um, leave Von Helton alone while he was doing his shows eight plus hours a day. Eight hours on a, on a slow day where he's not on it as much. Von Helton spent most of his waking hours on the internet, even though he had a family to take care of, and burdened to Andrea with everything. Um, that That is just disgusting like he would make me like uh but almost like, do it all the only thing he'd do is like take out the garbage and on occasion he'd sweep the floor yeah so that's um you can understand there that if if she's doing everything and he's streaming for eight plus hours a day um that's a lot like it's a lot for anyone and i know there's a lot of single mothers that have to deal with stuff like that but and hopefully a lot of them have support but it can, it can get rough especially when you've got someone there that should be taking the load um and not doing anything so you can imagine that um uh andrea didn't get a lot of sleep and that can do it that can do a, a mess with your mind a lot yeah well and maybe i missed it how old was she when they got together because she 20. was very young yeah 20. he 20. was 40 something so like, i think blue, I think blue put even... it in the chat earlier i think she was 40 he was 43 and she was 20. yes she's not even like full adult learned how to take care of her own self on her own you know and uh now she's got a lot of kids to take care of with no support yeah and that part's coming up dragon jim <laughs> where uh he tells her to, uh, you know, if it's too noisy while he's doing his streams to go and she can't sleep, to go and sleep in the car. So that's coming up. <laughs> you can go sleep on the couch. If I'm keeping you awake, go sleep on the couch and I'll shut no, the door. Because I can hear you right there the Well, I'm sorry. I just. This, this this fucking childish I'm tired of the childish bullshit I'm not talking to you 
I guess I'll have to sleep outside. I don't know, dear. Sleep in the car. That's what I do. Sleeping in the car is great. Works good for you. No, because what if I get attacked? I can't scream. Dear, you got the door locked. Door, you locked the car doors. Duh. You're not getting a phone. Perhaps I'm not. I'm saying, if a bear smashes right through the window. Well, if a bear smashes through the window, well, then I don't know. Well, then I'm dead, and it'll be your fault to put my electric. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I probably would. You're probably right. The human body needs. It's a lot of concern for his wife. <laughs> Go and sleep in the car. <laughs> what if a bear comes and smashes through the window? Oh, well, then a bear smashes through the window. Can't be helped. Oh, wow. <laughs> a piece of shit. Yeah, and all like all she's asking him to do is just, just shut the fuck up, shut the stream down, let me have a few hours sleep, look after the kids while I have a nap, you know, and then you can go back. And he's like, no. Yeah. It's, it's not, not even a huge ask. It is nothing, really. Yeah. And it's like, no. Not gonna do it. Um, you just sleep. In, you just do what you need to do to handle your shit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more important. God. Mm. It needs rest. It needs sleep. Von Helms' sleep is important, but nobody else around him sleep is important. He didn't care enough about Andrea to shut down his little computer game and do something else. No, or not game, but you know whatever chat he was hanging out in. Because it was more important for him to rage at the top of his lungs while his wife sleeping next to him. Oh, go sleep out in the car. Go sleep on the couch. Sleep in the car, that's good for you. No, it isn't. You get a crooked neck. You can't fully stretch out. Sleeping in the car is extremely uncomfortable. I've tried it before. And, Ron Helton, you're an idiot. And you don't care about your wife if you're going to make her sleep in a car. Sometimes, like, uh, I would watch them during the day, and he would watch them at night. Or uh, we would switch. On occasion, he would take me, like, to get clothes. And on occasion, he would, like, you know, take me to the, well, he would take me to the grocery store all the time. And, you know, doctor's office, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, he did take me to the corral, like, for my birthday and stuff. Like, you know, he would. My... Golden Corral is at a restaurant. Oh, yeah. It's like a buffet-style restaurant. Oh, okay. So, like, a cheap sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you pay, I don't know, like, $16 for an adult portion, and then you just go refill <laughs> oh, whatever we you had, want. Yeah, we had something similar here that don't, don't really exist much here anymore in, in Australia. I don't know if they're worried about, well, maybe COVID killed it, but, yeah, yeah. okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Damn, give me my five minutes. <laughs> I'm just tired of trying to sleep and listen to what I want. And well, you can't sleep anyway. we got to get up. I've got to go here. And... I know I can't sleep. I've been trying to sleep all fucking morning. You'll be all right. See that? He's, he's telling her she she has to get up. She can't sleep anymore or, or you because know, she hasn't been able to sleep because he's got to go live. Yeah. And it's not like he's actually making money doing lives or anything. He's just talking shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And remember to, um, yeah, that <laughs> this is back in the, um, this is years ago, like six years ago, I think. Like, this is a long time ago. That And he, he's still doing the same shit, but he's luckily he's only damaging himself at the moment. But I, I, you know, I'm, I'm obviously I'm doing a live show. Why, why can't you understand what I'm doing a live show? What, what is that that you don't understand? I'm doing a live show. Well, you could, I don't know, go in there and see what she wants. Well, not when you're on the toilet, obviously, duh. But when you get done, go see what she wants. What's wrong with that? You know I'm doing a show. You could you could be courteous and allow me to do my show and go in there and see what she wants. 
Wouldn't that be considered courteous? You've been courteous all morning. What? Don't oh, give me a break. Yeah, and that's the typical woman. That's the typical woman. Typical woman. What are you going to do? The Blue says um, they were with him alone for two, about two or three years. That's the kids. After Andrea left, they were finally adopted in September 22. The last time they lived with him was circa February 2021. Yeah, and then, yeah. They, then they're, yeah. Um, the it's 12 times they were taken. But you can see why. He prioritizes his stream. So when she goes and the kids are screaming for something, he's going, well, you're being inconsiderate, kids. I'm streaming. <laughs> it's not even just his stream. Like, he prioritizes whatever he wants. He's an entirely selfish person. Yeah. He doesn't care about their needs or, like, how to take care of them properly. He just wants to do whatever he wants to do and fuck everybody else. And uh, just notice that, too, Paul's, yeah, th that... That V symbol is Vaughn Live, which was another platform. Um, yeah, that's a long time ago. Vaughn Live, I think, is pretty much dead now. If not completely dead. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Yahoo me, hey! <laughs> Why does she always do this to my shows? I don't know. I don't think she understands the, the concept of doing a show. I don't think she gets it. You're the one who gets it, James Von Helton. You're on these shows all the damn time. Your wife has needs. Your children have needs. It's called being a family. Family comes first, Von Helton, not your show. Um, you should seek, uh, what, what is the word for that? Uh, seek attention from your wife and not from a bunch of people you don't even know on the Internet. That Most of them are on there just to laugh at you. But no, you got to spend more time on the internet and, and bitch at your wife because she's not giving you your internet time when you spend over eight hours a day on there. All right. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Check out your cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to say anniversary, Happy but... Happy uh, anniversary, but I didn't, let, I didn't stick it yeah, in the fridge. I got supposed to. Yeah, you didn't But I made in. the icing all for me. Yeah. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Happy anniversary, baby. Mm. Mm. And there it is. And you gotta kind of put it the, the other way to actually. <laughs> you can't go to read it. <laughs> it just kind of just went everywhere. You're not gonna read it. But the, hey, it's the thought that counts. Yep. And it was your first attempt, so. And that was the whole surprise. Well, nobody can say anything. And it was another your... surprise when you take a bite. Yeah, okay. I'll give you a hint. All right, we're good. Good. Mm -hmm. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you too, baby. All right, thank you. You're welcome. With all her shortcomings and disabilities, she was doing everything she could to make that family work. She baked a cake for you. And what'd you do, Von? Huh? What'd you do for her? I don't see any evidence of you taking any effort other than spend all your time online. At least Andrea's trying to do something. Uh, what did you do for her, the anniversary? I bet you didn't do a damn thing. You know, somebody asked me, said, uh, Vaughn, are you still trying to find some more 20-year-olds? Fuck yeah, I am. Fuck yeah, I am. The bigamy law may be in place, but I don't have to marry him now, do I? <laughs> so he wasn't content with one. He wanted multiple uh, wives, in quotation marks. You know, uh, mm. <laughs> he's just a sick old man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, unbelievable. Um, I, knew, I knew this part. I mean, he even talks about it now. Like if someone was in the chat and asked him, he would say the same thing. You know, he's after, he's after like a subservient... 20 year old um you know to fill that void you know that's why he gets catfish so easily as well yeah he's he's just disgusting he's probably someone that actually legitimately believes that it's either his right because he's a man or it's like something without that he can't control because he's a man like, no. yeah yeah it's a it's definitely really old school thinking yeah coming out old school i don't know if it's religious um, because he's not a Christian, but he would have grown, grew, grew up like his family would have all been Christian. 
Yeah. But let's not blame Christianity for him. <laughs> for his yeah, yeah. He's got enough issues. <laughs> I want to find at least two more 20 year olds. Clan Von Hilton will exist. Okay? And ain't no troll, no hater, no naysayer gonna stop it from happening. It's destiny, motherfuckers. It's destiny. So when he's like talking about two or three women, I said, Whoa, I never said that. You brought that up. And there's one time he asked me, like, would he want to be with, um, like a single, you know, would he want to have sexual intercourse with a single straight woman? I looked at him, I said, you know, hell no, you know, I'm, I'm you know, no, no, you know, I, I, I just like, why would you even ask me? I'm scared to death. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared to death. Uh, on his video, he had threatened uh, anybody showed up there with uh, explosive and bombs. And I, I what? Uh, well, after, like, I heard him say about explosives and stuff, I'm sitting there like, okay, this guy's a lunatic. You don't I mean, go and open threats to people. Well, there's a connection to a, abusive men and their relationship with their mother. Uh, now, that's not true in every case. I mean, there's some people who have horrible mothers. But uh, Bob Helton's relationship with his mother, he abuses his mother, you know, denies it. But uh, you see the way he talks to his mother. A woman who provides for him and provides for his wife and his kids that she didn't ask for. Um, these are, this is just a pure indication and a red flag that if Andrea had known better, she would have recognized that Von Helton is uh, not a suitable husband. I've heard him on different occasions call his mother really bad names. There's been, you know, a couple of times where I've got upset at her and I, you know, I called her names, but I've always, you know, apologized for that and he never has. <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, the Lord of mercy. Son. Yesterday's pizza. It's got gnats and everything. No, it does not have gnats in it. Jesus Christ. Please take it to the kitchen. I'll take it in the room. And put your dirty napkins in the garbage. I have been. This is exactly why that you got that your children took away from. No, you. Mom, it isn't. Yes, it is. There was no mention of the house at all. Sorry. There wasn't no mention of the house at all. Sorry. You fail. Once again, you fail. There was no mention of... Shortly, the, he, he runs through what the complaints were from CPS. He just won't believe it. I, I, I'm stunned that he read it out. He's denying everything on it, but I'm stunned that he read it out, like what the abuse yeah. that they've seen, the neglect and abuse that they witnessed. Um, so that's coming up. Not the fucking house. No mention of the fucking house at all. The home is cluttered to the point that it is difficult to find a place to sit, and the surfaces, i.e. countertops, tables, coffee table, etc., are covered with dirty dishes, dirty bottles, and other stuff. You will have to describe in detail what occurred in my home to cause my children to be at risk. Then request the court to order the release of the records. Yeah. Yeah, if I want to wait till they decide to do it. On 8-9-2011, the children were seen at the UK Grand Clinic, Grad Clinic and were once again diagnosed as failure to thrive. Their formula was changed, however, despite several prompts from worker, had not contacted the WIC program to obtain the new formula. The parents seemed to be lackadaisical in the care of Jeremiah and the twin, as well as their older sibling, Layla. The parents have been observed feeding their children out of dirty bottles. The twins were often left to cry it out in their bed. They have been found in feces and urine on a regular basis. Layla is often left in the high chair or swing for hours at a time without any interaction. Wrong. Layla is left in the high chair in the swing to watch Fox News and her weather channel, which, by the way, she dearly loves. Children are receiving very little nurturing, despite the fact that I took my kids to Golden Corral the other day. Oh wait, oh wait. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, I guess if I guess if you take your kids to Golden Corral, that's not nurturing, right, guys? Right. Mother appears 
to have some intellectual limitations. In other words, they're saying Andrea is stupid. It has been reported but not verified that the father is diagnosed schizophrenic. Um, the father, James, has boasted he has multiple weapons in, in the home, including knives and loaded guns, which include an SKS assault rifle. Ha <laughs> I wish. And a handgun. These weapons are allowed, allow them to protect themselves from the aliens that will be invading Earth as soon as well as the haters. The HANDS program was working with the family in the home but have now withdrawn due to potential risk of harm to the worker. I just had to interrupt here. Uh, Von Helton, in that paper he's reading, they had somebody from the HANDS program that couldn't help out anymore because of the possible danger to the uh, uh, the person that was there to help them because the unsanitariness of his house tra or his mom's trailer that he's living in and that it was unsafe for them to allow a worker there. This is the house, the home that Andrew was living in and Andrew wasn't able to keep the house clean enough because Von Helton would never pitch in and it's just sick. That's massive trigger. <laughs> For warning for everyone out there that just he's reading this out calmly like no. unbelievable and it can't be you know, nurturing claim can't be correct because it took him to golden crow once yeah it took him to golden crow last week yeah that and means I don't, you're a good, good father yeah i don't know if you heard there too that the, the, they talk about in there that they were taken to schumer's hospital um to get a change of formula because the yeah. kids are underweight, or well, the toddlers are underweight. Yeah. They're toddlers. So, they're not. They're not you know, yeah. kids. What yeah. uh, he, the term that they used is failure to thrive. Yes. So that's um, usually when you see that kind of thing, it's usually in cases of extreme, extreme neglect. They're talking underweight and not getting held at all. So those kids were probably like maybe fed once a day and then left alone never picked up never touched never played with never like changed like it's it's not good and if it's that obvious for a care worker to see it it was really bad and 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 what's worse is this more to come well oh, that's that he's still going <laughs> the home is cluttered to the point that it is difficult to find a place to sit and the surfaces, i.e. countertops, tables, coffee table, etc., are covered with dirty dishes, dirty bottles, and other stuff. The family has no income. They are dependent on James's 83-year-old mother who lives next door to them. The children are at risk of harm due to the parents' failure to meet their needs. I saw neglect of not just the two infants, but also of the one-year-old baby as well. She was left in her high chair for the entire two and a half hours I was in the home for the first visit and in the two hour second visit as well other than when the 82 year old grandmother got her out the 82 year old grandmother lives next door and helps all she can but she is only able to do so much the mother she's always wrong infants one year old wow yeah. so the, the formula i think that uh, they had to change them for is the like high calorie formula mm. and it's um like um Think about it as like the most that you could pack into a formula in terms of like caloric intake and have it still be somewhat nutritious and not cause other health complications. Like it's not, it's not good. Okay. More concerned about herself than the baby. When SN tried to teach her about infant care, she would change the subject to herself. Babies charged for the hospitals uh, stay and the SN notes speak for themselves. The babies gained weight while in the hospital, at least one ounce per day of each of them. When they got home, they lost weight. The infants are six weeks old and have gained no weight since coming home. That, uh, they both had a rash when admitted to the hospital. The mother in, stated that she stopped holding the other baby when she turned six months old. When SN arrived for a home visit, the parents went to bed and left SN to feed and clothe the babies. The infants were totally covered in feces and urine. So the infants were totally covered in feces and urine. Father was uh, defecating, uh, not defecating, but uh, throwing up uh, due to the fact that the infants were covered in feces. No, no. Dragon Jim says uh, he would not feed them after five to avoid having to change them at night. Jeez. It's just a piece of shit. Like, wouldn't you want to get, uh, get him alone in a room? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like... You know, granted, I've never had it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. 
I haven't had a kid, so but I, I think isn't like newborn feeding schedule like once every three hours or something like that. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, anybody like, in the chat can let us know what the yeah. usual schedule is. But as as he said, he read out then they didn't gain any weight when they returned home. Exactly. It's just like, well, like the, the system's that's... broken when you know that they're not going to fix the, themselves and that exactly. you just can't take the kids completely away. Like the system is set up that, that you know if they jump through a certain hoop, they get them back, and then, then the yeah. kids starve again. Exactly, and they knew that they were just going to go back into that home and lose weight again because they had done that process. They had taken them into care, they had gained weight in care, and then they were released and they lost weight. Or they stayed steady, even though they should be growing. Like, these kids, yeah. even though they've been taken and adopted now, just like the science is real like they will have long-term health consequences because they were not given proper inadequate nutrition at such a young age this is um, facts. yeah and just checking the chat said three to four hours Charlotte said three to four hours so you're right yeah see i know stuff <laughs> you, <laughs> you know some stuff yeah, a couple things. Yeah. Home visit notes and hospital records speak for themselves. The baby's weight gain of one ounce per day while in the hospital shows they can thrive and placed in, be in a better environment. Note from hospital stated that the parents were feeding babies clabbered milk in MD office during visit and was not aware it was spoiled, refused to feed babies in hospital, always had the reason that the nurses had to feed them. I feel the babies will suffer if left in the current home situation. Possible, li possible life endangerment with dehydration and failure to thrive. Neither one of them were equipped to bring kids into this world. Um, but uh, to be fair, you don't know that until you have kids, I guess. But uh, Von Helton neglected those kids because his and his wife because it was more important to do his shows than take care of the kids. Now, Andrea said she kept bringing the subject up to herself. It's because it was a cry for help. She needed help. She didn't know what was going on, but she knew something wasn't right, and she was crying out for help. Uh, was too bad. Where's that noise coming from? Uh, oh, Aunt Jessie. <laughs> Aunt Jessie, you're really noisy. Aunt Jessie. You know. CPS worker didn't recognize Sorry, I'm just, you had to meet you. Time. But uh, this is just sickening. From both local, or from all of the local, state, and federal governments had stated and stipulated that if I had had another person in the home with us, that they probably would not have been able to have taken my children because there would have been enough people to have watched the children at all hours and to have interacted with the children at all hours so this is a very unusual video because what i am asking and seeking is a bisexual female a skinny petite 20 something bisexual female to come and be friends with the wife here and to actually be part of our family literally be part of our family even up to be there, Aunt Jessie? Yes, I do you that's hear me better. now? Yeah, that's better. So fucking sorry. So I used two different computers and I logged in with the one that is, you know, like the fucking Chromebook, not my fancy setup with my fucking mic and shit. So hi, I'm here now. Thank you for allowing me to come on. Uh I thought it'd be good to have a um woman's perspective on this Absolutely. piece of shit. Um, yeah. just, it, I don't know if you, have you been watching long? Um, no, I just got here, but I am aware of Von Hilton. I don't know a whole lot about him, but, um, I know him by way of, um, drunken peasants covering him for a few years. Yeah. So, yeah. So I he just, so he just went over the CPS list of, uh, things that, that, that were wrong what um i don't know what else you'd call it like a report cps report and he was mm -hmm. reading it out straight faced no issue and he was basically uh trash and everything in the house dirty baby bottles the babies were um 
losing weight. They had to be put on special formula in hospital to gain weight when they took him away. Um, he they had feces and urine on them, um, and uh, so he just finished going through this this horrible list of things that he'd done uh, and denying all of them. And now he's talking about he needs a bisexual twenty year old to move in with him and his wife. No. <laughs> Okay, clarify a few things for me. Okay, number one, was he reading his own CPS report? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the CPS okay. report on his kids, yeah. And and he's like, oh, hey, yeah, you know, my kids were covered in poop. Did he deny any of this? Uh, some of it. He denied Sarcastically, he yeah. Was, well, he denied that he was uh, an adequate father because he had taken his kids to Golden Corral the week far- prior. <laughs> And uh, he justified leaving a kid in a, uh, what was it, in a high chair for hours because she loves watching the Weather Channel Fox News. And she just wants to sit there and watch that. And the social, the social worker who went around there to observe them um, right. was basically left with the kids while they went to bed. Uh, okay. Well, so that's you know what you what you're supposed to do apparently when your social worker comes around and make sure you're a fit parent, <laughs> you go to bed. I, I just, you know I don't need it. I don't need to go. I mean I and and I want to be clear too that I'm not laughing at the horrible things that the children have gone through, uh, as I've you know pretty been I've been pretty vocal. I've been both a foster child and a foster parent, so I've been through. Some shit. I've seen some shit on both sides. So I'm not laughing at the children. I'm laughing at his perspective on not fucking getting what he did to these fucking kids. And just be, oh, no, it's fine. Now, the the other thing is he needs a sec a bisexual 20-year-old to move in with him and his wife? Yeah, let's, let's hear his justification. To and including Please. getting your name legally changed. Should be concerned with getting his kids back do what neat what cps wants him to do to get his kids back but no he wants us to believe that that the governments no, that all no, the governments local fired. federal and he and wants this. state and whatever want him to have perverted sex yeah, he wants in order to you know him. because hey yes he wants perverted sex <laughs> that's that's it well you'll hear in a second andrea's not into it that would be better for the children, for him to have multiple wives. His trailer is very small. It if you're it's got two very small beds. Shit. <laughs> the wives have to be the most into it. They're the ones that are going to have to do the weird gay, you know. Uh, you know, uh, out of that situation where you have a woman and a man, you know, uh, the woman's the only one doing the gay stuff in that relationship. So, yeah, bro. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Bedrooms in the in the, the master bedroom is probably no bigger than a regular bedroom. Um, this house, this trailer isn't even big enough to house uh, other women that he wants. What he really wants is this pornographic uh, sexual fantasy fulfilled. This has nothing to do with polygamy. According to Mister Unite, the for the chill wind. Uh, at this time, he had an ad. Ad online dating site looking for a petite, petite, twenty-something woman who isn't into looks or money. Uh. <laughs> I mean, at least he knew he knew his realm. Like he knew if she's into looks, I don't have a shot. If she wants money, ask the frosts. I don't have any. <laughs> oh Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Since when it's... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, that's not... I thought it was about her weight. Okay. To me, this has everything to do with Von Helm. It fulfills his needs. This is an opportunity to lie to people to try to get another uh, victim into his rape trailer, and it's just sick. Uh, this should make your uh, blood boil over this whole issue. He read that whole document, what, what they found wrong with the kids, and him having another uh, sexual partner would have stopped that from happening. Uh, I don't think no courts or anything is claiming that. Von Helton's lying and sick. Rape trailer.
strain of uh, long held selfishness on their marriage is finally taking its toll. I mean, you can only stretch a rubber band so far, uh, no matter how thick it is or how new the rubber band is, it, they'll always have a breaking point. You'll stretch so far, eventually that rubber band's going to snap. And same goes for Von Helton's marriage um, to Andrea. He, st he stretched uh, so far without do it, lifting any effort into making a marriage work. Uh, the marriage eventually is going to fail, and um, an epic fail that was. And like I, one day, like I was testing him, just how like like this is goes with the um, fist, you know, in my face. I was testing him one day. Um, I, I we were talking, but like I was testing one day to see just how far he would go. And I threw an empty top can at his computer monitor, and the guy went crazy. He's like, you, tr you tried to kill me, you tried to kill me. I'm like, over a little pop can, that can't even hurt, you know, nothing. What Andrea failed to realize is that she threw the pop can at his computer monitor. And Von Helton's computer monitors are his most important thing. That's a priority that's over his family. So she attacked the very thing that Von Helton loves most, and that's the internet, his attention on the internet. The attention he gets from strangers instead of from his own wife. All right, never laid a hand on her. Now, I did. There was one instance where I raised my fist into her face, but that was just a scare. I never I never heard her, man. I never laid a finger on her, ever. Put in your... He says um, he... Ra uh, you guys are probably behind, too, if you're watching the stream, but he says he raised his... Uh, his one time, he raised his fist up to her face and threatened her. He says that well, that's not a, a abuse. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, in a second, you'll hear that he actually pulled a gun on her. As well. <laughs> so, watch out for that one. Your fist in your wife's face is abuse, Von Helton. I know you're too stupid to understand that because nothing you do is wrong because you took an oath. Mm. But Andrea is too fucking stupid to listen to her husband. She's too busy listening to a bunch oh of. Mm hmm. Council's advisement. Uh, I have decided to make this video. And uh, basically, what I am going to say in this video is, is simple. Uh, I am basically going to forgive my wife. Of That's everything so she has done to me, both. Mm hmm. It's just just hearing this shit, just the way that he's he pulls a fucking gun on her and shit. Yeah, in like, a in a minute she'll talk about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I won't spoil it, but yeah, she can, she'll talk about that. He mm. walks it back and denies it. Um, and then she can hear her getting upset, saying like, like I, you know, basically like I forgive you, but it, it happened. You know, it's, I'm That's... not going crazy. It happened. You pulled the gun on me. Yes. Yeah, and that's coming up shortly. It, and the, at the moment, the part that you'll catch up to in a second, he's um talking about he's forgiving her. So she's uh left him at this point. She left him once or twice and come back. So at this point, she's gone, and he's forgiving her now, like saying, I forgive you for everything you've done to me, everything you will do to me. And then um, I hope you can forgive me for what you think I might have done to you and what I might what do to you, you in the future. Exactly. That's what he says. Hey, Carrie. Hi. Can you hear me? Oh, yep. shit. Yeah. Hello, Carrie. Um, I don't see the, the screen. Are you sharing the screen or are we doing it a different way? It's I, I hadn't realized because silent doesn't matter. So I didn't. <laughs> I guess wow. so you've been watching wow. the stream this whole time. Is there a way, yeah. I, can, is there a way I can pipe can it in here? You should uh, be able to share your screen. Yeah, um, just to share Discord. it to. The, yeah, do that. And that that would be preferable because I'm a couple of minutes behind. Like. Yeah, like, I'll do, like let me do that. Delay. There, there you go. Okay. okay, hold on. Let me... This will make a bit more sense. The silence never complained yeah. about that before. <laughs> I didn't know it was an option. I'm not a complainer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> dance, <laughs> monkey, so dance. Yeah, I didn't even complain okay. about you saying I was a monkey. Jeez. Oh my god, this is going to make things so much... I was like...
because I would I would start making noises like oh like damn you know and then like I hear myself a couple of minutes later and it just sounds like I'm like orgasming at wrong times. <laughs> or I just hear this like oh, mm. I'm like oh, oh. I was wondering what that was in the background. <laughs> Well, All I right. do have a relatively noisy house here, but uh, it's not that kind of noise. Not do that noisy. Do you have anything <laughs> initially to say, Carrie, about what you've seen so far? No, I, I, I've I, seen some Vaughn stuff, but I don't know a lot of like the backstory and stuff, so this has been interesting to watch for sure. Yeah, and, I, th uh, I thought it would be good. Like stuff he says. Yeah, yesterday starting with the Vaughn history... Um, and then, yeah. and then today with Andrea, because Andrea is like sometimes a forgotten sort of, you know, victim of Von. Yeah. You know, people focus on Von a lot, but poor Andrea, like you, you'll hear what she, what she's gone through here. And she's, she married him when she was 20. I know. Uh, it's damn. crazy. And how old yeah. was he? He was 43 at the time. He's 50, Ew. 55 now or something. Okay. Someone well, in the I, chat will I, correct me. I don't. I don't mean you in that there's a problem with an age gap like that. Age gap relationships are fine, but he is an abusive, horrible fucking asshole. This is not um, yeah. an age gap relationship where um, it works. This is I mean, predatory. Yeah, yeah there's he a wanted difference to... between like an age gap where you're like 35 and the other person's 65, or like the other mm -hmm. person's 40, or you know, there's that's I mean, an acceptable shit, age there... gap. You've become an yeah. adult, you know? Yes, At 20, yes. you just reached, like, age of majority a couple years ago. You probably still haven't ever paid bills on your own. You've probably not gone to school, not, like, lived on your own outside your, your family household. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. that's a very different understand. relationship. Your, your brain isn't even fucking fully finished exactly. developing. Yet. Exactly. You know, and the, yeah. the first thing he did to this woman was he got her pregnant um, uh -huh. twice. You got they had one, one, so got three kids twice as the twins. Um, wow. with, with oh, yeah. basically as soon as she gave birth to the first one, she was almost instantly pregnant again with the second one. Um, That's not good. no, yeah, and then with, very dangerous. Yeah. And yeah. then CPS got involved and straight away, like, um, if, if you didn't hear back, um, uh, Jesse, they're talking about like, you know, the, the CPS were talking about like the abuse they witnessed and put it on paper and wrote down what he had mm -hmm. done and he was reading it out like it was nothing. Yeah. You yeah, didn't care. that's wild. It's incredible. Yeah, because you can see why there's a lot of hate for Von out there. Like, real hate. Like, yeah. Like, take him into a room and do things to him type hate. Yeah. In Minecraft. In Minecraft, yeah. In Minecraft. Past, in Minecraft. Present and future. And that I will also ask forgiveness for everything that she might feel I have done to her. Past, present, and future. That is in my best Mike. interest to take the high moral ground and to ask forgiveness first. If she does not counter with a video, well, <laughs> then you know who's got the who's got the high moral ground, then don't you? So he's, he's basically saying if she doesn't forgive him for whatever she, it's in her brain that she thinks he's done, then he's got the high moral ground, like he's superior to her if she doesn't respond to it. Um, oh. So it's manipulation to try and get her back because she's left at this stage. She 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 left. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah, and as which unfortunately happens in a lot of busy relationships, you'll hear she came back, and probably because of the kids too. Uh, like, which you know, kids make a big yeah. difference when you got kids in a busy yeah. relationship. Yes, yes, it, it's huge, especially with someone like Vaughn who's going to say things like, "You'll never see these kids again. I'll make sure you're an unfit parent. I'll make sure that you never get them. I'll get full custody." They mm -hmm. say horribly manipulative things like that, and to use your children against you, it's fucking it's scary i was gonna say too like with him dating her at such a young age like he he did that because he has to be like in control and like it's mm -hmm. that's gonna be easier to do with somebody that's that young that's still mm -hmm. developing and doesn't exactly even know themselves yet um he knows that and he's that's exactly what he's looking for mm -hmm. yeah yeah um now in in addition I have also spoke with my girlfriend on, on the uh, matter, and um, she has stated that uh, although uh, visitation will not be allowed, Make believe uh, perhaps someday in the future, if she wants to return permanently, 
uh, she was welcome to do so since she is in fact the mother of my children. Von Houten pulled a gun on Andrea the very day she left. Andrea left terrified that she could get killed by this maniac, um, this nutter, a self-absorbed internet uh, addicted piece of shit. There like was another issue that happened like the same day I was leaving. He said I could kill you for this. Okay, and he pretend he acted like he was going to grab the gun, what? and I'm staring at him like I'm like oh, oh you know. Like, so that's when um I had called my friend and I said come get me now, and so my friend just took off. And uh, the you know my girlfriend has already agreed to that. Uh, the uh, open invitation is still there. Forgiveness is still there, but now it, she's got to understand that, you know, these these crazy accusations of me uh, threatening her and beating on her, that is just bullshit. And uh, it's got to stop. Hoping that Andrea will uh, snap out of this stupor that she's in. See how Von Helton twisted around, how he says that uh, she's saying that he beat on her. She never ever said that Von Helton beat on her. She said that Von Helton put a fist in her face, which Von Helton did because he admitted to it, and then Von Helton pulled a gun on her, and I have no doubt that Von Helton did, did show her the gun and said he could kill her for this. Um, that, and then Von Helton would switch it around as if Andrea owes him an apology, and she needs to change what she's saying. In order to come back, that's how forgiveness works. Is you agree with Von Houten and, and go with his lie, and that's how forgiveness works. Yes. Pulled a gun on her. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's definitely a, a red flag. Yeah. That you better get the fuck away from him. And she did, like, to a credit, she did. She left, and then yeah. um, in, in a minute, you'll see she comes back. Um, I don't know how, how much time it passed. Some in the chat may know how much time actually passed before she come back again. But, um, you know, that's, they're bringing it up and he's saying that, no, it wasn't, it was a, it was a stapler or something. But you'll hear it in a second. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'll see her in hell first. I'll see her behind bars. Jeez. I'll see her behind bars. I never threatened her. I never hurt her. All right. Never laid a hand on her. Now, I did. There was one instance where I raised my fist into her face, but that was just a scare. I never I never oh. hurt her, man. I never laid a finger on her. <laughs> that is abusive. Yeah. Just, just wanted to scare her, right? <laughs> well, I was scared, you know? Yeah. Sick. And she made me do it. <laughs> He's one of those. All right. Did it ever occur to you that this hasn't got a goddamn thing to do with the divorce? That it's all about hurting me? Did it ever occur oh, to you? Because that's what God. it's all about. It's about hurting me. What was that, Jesse? It's just about hurting me. It has nothing to do with the divorce. My right. God. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, when you, when you hear her talking, she's just such, like, a frail person. As well, like mm -hmm. you know, then she you can tell she's telling the truth when she's talking. Yes, she's terrified. You can hear it in yeah. her voice. Yeah, even when she comes back and she's stand, you know, sitting next to him and they're talking about the gun, mm -hmm. she's you'll hear this in a second. Like, but she's mm -hmm. you could, she's like, you know, I, I you know, forgave you and I know you weren't going to do anything, I know you didn't mean it, you know, but but you did do it. He's like, no, no I didn't, you did do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Oh, and Andrea's a big hit now with the trolls. Now that she's sitting there talking shit about me all the time. Well, folks, um, you're not going to believe this one. I uh, hope you're sitting down for this shit. Um, let me try and keep this brief because my last attempt at this video was <laughs> just huge. Um, it seems that um, I prayed with a Christian yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon. And um, the prayer was something to the effect of that um, God would change her heart and mind and would change my heart and mind. And the product of that would compel me to return to Christ and rededicate myself to Yeshua. 
right? All well and good, right? Nice prayer. Sounds like a good prayer, right? Okay, well, there's a problem. The prayer backfired. Okay, instead of waiting to see if there's a change in my wife on the 9th, God saw fit to completely remove the love in my heart for Andrea. It's just gone. Uh, what the fuck just wow. happened here? Okay. No, I'm not a Christian, but does that ring true? Does God do That's, that? Uh, no. Mm -mm. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't sound like the one that I've heard of. That uh, No. It's not one of the menu items you can order from God. But doesn't he think <laughs> he's God? No, he he's a pagan. He believes in um, he has pagan his stuff. own gods, and they're not gods, even yeah. like they're not even like pa like pagan gods that like anybody else can worship. They're like his personal yeah, it's weird gods that are so weird. his own create. I don't even it's that shit because there yeah. are some there are some um they have, they're not around much anymore. But back in the great debate days, there was some really interesting prop yeah, proper pagans, not like this idiot, um that were interesting yeah. to talk to about like but they true one of them um. Oh, I cannot remember his name now, but he truly believed in like Zeus and those sort of gods, and he would talk about yeah. them all the time and and very intelligently and co coherently too, which is strange to think. But uh, yeah, he's he's just a weirdo. He just thinks that um, there's someone out, well, there's there's gods out there who are manipulating things in his favour, which is weird because he's living in a trailer um, and he's lost everything he's ever had in his life. He's got no money. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know what the gods have really done for him. He has no teeth. <laughs> yeah. No health. No I mean, teeth. Brett Keen, we're talking about uh, gumming up steaks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> have you guys seen his feet? Yeah. No. Okay. What? You haven't it's... silent. No. We'll have. We'll have to look at him. It's like the OnlyFans. <laughs> it's <laughs> really crazy. It's on Leaky another feet? like. You wouldn't oh, believe it. Dear. You really wouldn't believe it. They're crazy. I saw somebody in the chat brought it up. That's why I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, asking about it. Made me think about it. <laughs> okay, I pray for God to bring us back together, and the first thing he does is take the love out of my heart for her? What? What the fuck? Now, it, uh, on a side note, we are now up to a grand total of five possible female replacements for Andrea. And, not, and by replacement, I don't mean just to replace her. I mean actually superior to her in many, many ways. And I will probably be taking these documents. If she does not call, if she does not call and wish these kids a happy birthday, if she does not call my phone back here and wish these kids a happy birthday, I'm filling out these records. I am upset at James and I don't know what to do. Three days ago he called me a cunt and last night we got into it and he put his fist up in my face. It was a mouse, not a, fa not a fist. But anyway, put his fist in my face and now I'm actually getting scared of him and it's causing me to want to separate from him because of it. I don't know what to do. I will not have a man who will put his fist up in my face and try to be... But Andrea is too fucking stupid to listen to her husband. She's too busy listening to a bunch of... You know what, folks? Being able to see your floor is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, I wanted to show you the little doggy I got at IGA. Little doggy, it's a, it's a cake. I guess it's supposed to be. She has done all this shit. Where he's kept this place like a fucking pig's sty. You know, it's, it's funny that since she's gone, I've been able to keep the house clean. Don't you find that odd? find it odd that when she was here I couldn't keep the house clean and now the second that she's gone I've been able to keep the house clean maybe you can put two and two together and come up with four against the wishes of Andrea's doctor her family and other people who cared about her she decided to come back to Von Helton for the second oh, no. round of abuse was that? I just said no. Yeah, she come. She come back. Yeah. Worst. A lot of women do. do. Sorry, what was that? I just said worst things she could do. Yeah, it's, it's again, again probably because of the kids. Because um, Vaughn had custody of the kids, she didn't take them with her. Yeah. Um, exactly. It's all about the kids. It has nothing to do with him. Yeah. And uh, you see the mental manipulation too. Like a lot of these lost cows. Uh, good well 
they're, they're weirdly good at it. Like they're good at poking the right button to to get what they want from the partner, like Shani well, and right. people like that. It's almost like abusive people all read a fucking handbook on all of the tricks to use to gaslight people and mm -hmm. manipulate people. It's so fucking weird, but it's all literally when they say, oh, that is textbook abuse. It's like, right. there really is a fucking textbook or something out there because they're all doing the same exact shit. He's a, yeah. Here's a good thing from that. I heard this too. When she come back, Magulator says, when she come back, he hid her medication and she had a mental breakdown. Wow. Yeah. Oh, like he, he may ever even go over this in this documentary, but yeah. Okay. Well, that's medical abuse. Yeah, because he didn't like. Uh, I, I assume he didn't like the way she was probably standing up for herself, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, wanted to be more malleable, which is really bad thing to do. I don't know if it was you and I saw, was talking earlier about it. Like, if you take mm -hmm. someone's on medication and you take it away, especially mental medication, mm -hmm. and you suddenly take yeah. it away, that they yeah. can go like really bad. Like they can need really? to be institutionalized oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Some yeah. of that shit, you can have seizures, and if you're on certain things, like some of these SSRIs, like Paxil, you get what's called brain zaps. Like, and it mm. literally just, if you are withdrawing from your medication, it's, I've had them, it's mm. like you're literally being electrocuted in your brain all of a sudden, and it just fucking, oh, like, resets you. God. It is awful. It's wow. awful. I can see then how that could Ooh. cause a seizure. Yes. You know? It can, well, yeah, I mean, and, and to have to go through that and also be yelled at and threatened you're never going to see your kids again. Yeah, uh, that would send that would send most people over the edge. Mm -hmm. Apparently, oh, yeah. he did the same thing to his mother, and Larry had to rough him up and verbally and uh, verbally before he put the medicine back. Who is, who is Larry? Uh, Larry Frost. He's the guy that um, he's just recently evicted. He's uh, he was the executor of um, he, uh, Von's mother's Von's money, will. yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, they having this legal battle for a while, and finally uh, Von is now the executor of the the money, and he's no. a, a, yeah, and he's evicted uh, Larry Frost from the house. I mean, he left on his own, but he had evicted him, going through the courts to evict him, and stupid Von Helton, the, Larry had already left, even though like wasting the court's time. Like taking it to court, uh, and Larry would never show up, and people in the chat are trying to tell him, "Vaughn, Larry's left. He's moved out. Right. You've got the house back." And he's like, "No, I'm not going around there because he might say I'm trying to trying to bash him up." <laughs> so, so uh, the idiot went through the courts, like to get the sheriff and everything around the around the house. It's like there's no one there, idiot. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is that's who that's the Larry that they're talking about. So, um, yeah, uh, Larry had the are had they the executive related? For it. I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know that, that that much about. I know. I, I assume they have to be like to be yeah. maybe cousins. Uh, cousin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dragon Gems says that they're cousins. Oh, cool. Thanks okay. for checking the chat because it's it's going by. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate on different things. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Right. But there's a lot of great information from the chat because a lot of people that are in the chat now, have, you know, witnessed Von Helton for twelve to fifteen right. years. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he we we're talking about before, like you know. Uh, Cow Zero, like Von goes way back to like the Von TV days, <laughs> like the yeah, Von TV zero. blog TV. Yeah, is he Cow Zero? Like, like I like... said, he, he well, he's not quite Cow Zero because we also again have Brett Keen, but Brett Keen and Von have like talked, and like I said, they t they have talked about how to gum a steak. So <laughs> that's wild. That's wow. That's thing one and thing two. How about that? So with the money, he thinks that, oh, great, I've got all this money now. And he gave, oh, you know the name Silent. Who's that YouTuber that he gave three grand to? Oh, Brittany oh, Venti. Brittany Venti, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. And he thinks Probably. it's just like, he thinks it's like Christmas, he's got all this money. But idiot doesn't realize, he's executive. He's, he's got to he's got to wrap things up, like property stuff. He's got to settle the estate. It's not, it's not and free money. I think that you can get in trouble for um, executor abuse or... So like you know what yeah. I mean like you they they hold you responsible for the money you can't just be like yeah. going doing whatever you want with it I don't think it it kind of depends so I don't know how the, the will is set up there is he the only beneficiary of the will left oh is the kids it, are he, the kids the kids the are kids. 
Yeah. Well, then, if the so the the kids then would probably have someone who has to act in their interests. So, right now, he's probably as the executor, he's supposed to act in the interests of the beneficiaries. So, if he is like scraping money out of there and like using it mm-hmm. to enrich himself, then the kids can sue him for that and say that mm-hmm. he was misusing funds. Right. Yeah. It's. Yeah. He's That'd probably be... gonna not in a good situation for I think him that, because he's Does anyone in the chat know how old the kids are now? I'm thinking thirteen, fourteen. Does anyone know? Because no. I know they got married in two thousand eleven. She she was she already had the kid for, so that would mean that the kid would have to be twelve at least twelve, the first kid. That's if they got it's married crazy in that he's got kids that are that young at his age. Mm. Mm-hmm. You yep. know, it's kinda and they're being permanently of... adopted out now too, so that yeah, yeah. Good. Do this. I don't understand. They go back to their abuser, so I guess Andrew is not any different. But uh, never did, never can understand that. Wrap my wrap mind around it. I mean, he threatened her with the gun, and she comes back to him. Uh, it just well, well it's her later. choice, but uh, we'll see. Um, Sabrina wants me to get it on video. Okay, and you're yep, coming uh, back home. Yep, I'm back home. Yeah. Seeing the kids. Didn't hear her wait. No. Oh, okay. hey, hey, baby. Baby. Miss you. There's my baby girl. I miss you. Well, that concludes part one of uh, this, I guess you call it, documentary about lady. Yeah, you were for Okay. So, um, that was part one, this is part two. Mm-hmm. So she's just got home, he stuck a camera straight in the face, and see how happy those kids are to see her, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably their yeah. only source of, like, any love. type of nurturing or care or love, mm-hmm. yep. It boggles people's minds why someone would go back to their abuser. I mean, Von Hilton pulled a gun on her, put a fist in her face, and made her life a living hell. Yet she goes back to him, perhaps maybe because she loves the kids. And, you know, women love uh, men who don't like them, I guess. Um, you ever notice the guy who's an asshole to women always seems to get women? Um that's just the way it is, I guess. I don't totally understand. I don't know why not all women are this way. But, but Andrew did go back to Von Helton. And, and maybe there were some people in churches that convinced her because they didn't know uh, the insanity of Von Helton. And, um, but uh, she did go back to him, and, and that was her choice. And, um, you know, there's nothing you can do. People are, have a right to make their choices good or bad he's a little rough on the second time i've listened to it now he's a little rough on andrea like going back to the abuser but i don't think he's considering mm-hmm. that it's it's the kids like it's you know. the ki- it's yeah you get it yeah it's the kids but it's also it's complicated when you like this was probably her only ever relationship like she, we there might have been genuine love there like he's is a manipulative person she stayed with him for a long time she probably does have like feelings or remember remember things that were positive about that relationship as much negative well, as there was yeah like, and she's like kind of um you know mentally not 
what's the right way to word that? Um, she's vulnerable. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, she's vulnerable. Yeah, for manipulation and stuff. Yeah, he knows that and can. I can't remember the, the the term they use. CPS used uh, something about development, mentally developed. It was yeah. some, some yeah. words like that the, they used. Yeah, like um. I don't think it was, but something around the words of like developmentally disabled or delayed. Yeah. 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 Someone said that she was mentally um, uh, delayed of some kind. Um, and I've heard things like that be a target. Um, oh God, what was that guy? J.F. Gerieppi. That guy was also looking for women who were um, low IQ. And he had actually Jeez. gotten like the girl's family like got a restraining order against this guy because it was like she is wow. not capable of really even consenting to a relationship. Right. Yeah. 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 Oof, yeah. That's big. Yeah, he said um, when he was chatting to her on the dating side, he said that come out, stay with me. I'll look after you. I've got a farmhouse with with a farm. I've got animals. Mm -hmm. So he just lied to her when she got her out. He says it's a tra it's a trailer with dogs. By animals, it's not a farm. does he mean dead puppies in a trash can? <laughs> right. Yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. That's what he meant. That's what he meant. But yeah, he's, he he sold upsold the idea, and then she's stuck. Like she's come out there, and that's it. Yep. That's how they do it. Probably annoyed a family as well, and. In the process, you just up and move yeah. into some dude that's twice your age, right? Um, but uh, Von Helton wasn't uh, nice about her. About it, he put demands on her. He punished her, even though he was the one who pulled a gun on her and made her leave. Uh, he punished her for coming back, and she had to meet his demands because he wants to be in control of her. No, I think you misinterpreted what I said. I said, I think you could kill me with this. And I had this. No, I saw you pull out the gun. I didn't pull it out. I was reaching for Whoa. it. <laughs> I was reaching for a screwdriver. Whoa. See, John Chacon told her. Well, you pulled, you, um, John, I saw the gun. Well, you saw the gun in the drawer. <laughs> where it's at. And to be honest with you, I was scared of gun. Not John, okay. Yeah, that's a little quiet. Can't turn up anymore. It's the video. Yeah. But yeah, know. um, she, she says, uh, you know, you threatened to kill me and that, and he's like, no, you heard it wrong. I said you could kill me with this, and he held up the mouse, and she said, no, you you had a gun. She, he said, no, you saw the gun. It was between the cushions, and he said, I was oh. reaching for a screwdriver. You, right. you, you've seen a screwdriver. I was reaching for a screw. Uh, what are you reaching for a screwdriver anyway? But you're reaching for a screwdriver, and she's like, "Like you just see her reaction." She's like, "No, no, no, wait, wait, no, no, that yeah, didn't happen." That's yeah. gaslighting. That's gaslighting. Mm. Yeah. And, and then she tries to calm him down. You'll see here in a second. reaching for a gun. And see, even now, she still believes. Uh, I'm telling the truth. You did say I could kill you for this, but... She goes, no, I'm telling the truth. You did say you'd kill me for this. Oof. That's what she says. And he, you see a look on his face. He's like, shut up, Andrea. Why are you telling the truth? Yeah. You're not going to, but you love me in any way. You hear that? She goes, but you weren't going to because you loved me. Right. The typical yeah. victim victim behavior, like to try and make him right. feel comfortable with what she's saying. Because she's saying, like, I'm telling you the truth. This is what happened. I'm okay with it now. You know, you didn't right. mean it. Right. You love me, and that's why you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree with that. Vaughn Von would not do that. He did, but... Um... But he had the gun in his hands, what you're saying. I had the mouse like this here, and it I looks know. like a fist. Well, I'm, I'm telling the truth. It looks like a fist. You did put your fist in my face, but I you had... never hit me. No, I never hit you, but I had the mouse. That's where temptation comes in. That doesn't mean you have to do it. Well, the thing it that it holding the mouse, it, looked, it probably looked like a fist. Yeah, so he said that uh, it was the mouse. It, it makes it look like a fist. Uh, but it was right. my, my mouse. It, it wasn't my fist. But he in, himself said earlier, he, there's a clip, yeah, I did. I did one time put my fist in her face and threaten her right. to scare her. 
and now he's saying he didn't even do that now. And this is why the look on her face is like, why are you lying? <laughs> why are you lying for? You make why are you gaslighting me? Did you did you hear that? He yeah, held it for a few seconds up to my face, uh, so I could kill you for that. Uh, but no, he wouldn't do it because he'd go to jail and because he loves me. Mm, that's so awful. And like her recollection of it is so vivid as well. Like it's not like a typical sort of person who's lying. Like like a Rev, for example, who would just exaggerate. You know. The whole situation would be completely exaggerated and offering information that's not needed. She's just no, this happened. You know why are you, why are you lying about it? Right, I forgived you for right. it. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, he's got some pretty silly karaoke videos going around. Yeah. Have you seen any of them? I saw him recently do Closer by Nine Inch Nails. Yep. And oh my God, that was creepy. <laughs> he thinks he's just so a legend. Like He just thinks he's good didn't at he dedicate? Didn't he dedicate that to Britney Venti too? Yeah. Oh, He's God. trying so hard Ew. to get with her, and uh, she yeah. probably completely forgot who he was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she has no interest and would never have any interest in him. Yeah, exactly. No. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, Mouse is back home. Safe and sound. And doing much better, too. She is detoxing quite nicely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, detoxing, in other words, he's taken the medicine away from her. Oh, uh, man! Yep. There she is. There she is. She's doing quite well. Yeah, she's still rambling about God a lot. She is rudder. We all know that Von Helton has done and said many, many, many stupid things. But in my opinion, this tops it all. Von Helton has took Andrea off her medication without consulting a physician, um, without consulting a psychiatrist. Andrea was prescribed those medications. You do not take someone off their medication. Von Helton does this because he has to control Andrea so much that how dare a doctor you saying something, Carrie? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. It's all it's like all about control. He's even yeah. gonna control the medication that she's on. Like Yeah. And the mother it's, his oh. mother used to st st uh, stand up for herself too, and he he hated it. She yeah. she used to hardly let him get away with shit, like she would <laughs> yell at him and tell him yeah, to she can get off his yeah, ass I've and seen, do shit. <laughs> yeah, I've seen clips of that. And then I mean, didn't he kind of like to uh, like basically leave her to die. Yeah. Like so that. earlier, um, I think it was Blue saying in the chat earlier that, um, he, he, he she was passed out on the floor. He walked in and noticed that she was passed out on the floor. Walked out, didn't do anything about it. Come back in, noticed she was still passed out. Walked out, didn't do anything about it. Come back in for the third time, then decided to call nine one one. And she had had like what a stroke or something? Yeah, I think it was a stroke, and then so she ended up. I think she died in hospital. Like it was just if he had yeah. a call at the first instance, he might say, have been alright. He tried to say that she liked it down there on the floor. That yeah. it was comfortable. Which, she decided to lay yeah. down there. Mm. Yeah, right. He, he said that uh, right. she was like uh, she was like uh, 
grew up during the depression and like sleeping on the floor was normal for people that grew up during the depression and it was like nostalgic for them it's like no <laughs> no 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 she's 94 right yeah I th well i don't know for sure but she's on she up in age yeah 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 and did, I... did you did you see the video where um he's filming her he's got the camera stuck in the face and he's filming her saying you now you're going to give me that that's that's my car isn't it mom yeah that's my house isn't it mom yeah sure is yes mom yeah of course it is and he's going you're not going to give that to anyone else <laughs> he's got yeah. a camera stuck in her face damn yeah he's awful doctor give her medication because bon helton owns andrea and controls her or at least tries to um this is abuse by ignorance. This is extremely stupid, especially psychological medication. You do not mess with those. You know, you have to be tapered off them to go off them in the first place. You can't just abruptly take someone off medication and not expect that person to have some kind of a mental breakdown. Because I have known people who are schizophrenic on medication who decided not to take their medication and um, the guy was running around the street naked a few days later after he stopped taking his medication. This was a guy that used to live down the street from me. Von Helton doing this just riles me up and stirs my blood up to, I mean, I've had to take several takes at this uh, part of the video because uh, I, it just inflames me so much that Von Helton did this. Um, he is so stupid horribly stupid abused by stupidity that's what this is you ended up going to the doctor around that time and you came back on medication remember that he told you he told us he told everybody that you came back from the mental hospital what was the diagnosis then that the doctors gave you for them to prescribe medication to you what was the diagnosis so you'll hear in a second the, do the what she says her diagnosis is and see if uh it's a surprise or if you think you go yeah it sounds about right because i don't know a lot about these mental illnesses that they told you that you have in order to be ta taking these medications um right now i'm gonna get the clinic paranoid schizophrenic mm. she was diagnosed with so when that cps that's person pretty was, serious yeah when the social worker was talking about every time she talked about the kids andrew would talk about herself well that's yeah it's not because she's not thinking right. of the kids it's because she's a paranoid schizophrenic yeah yeah so so yeah. someone on that sort of medication is suddenly then yeah, they, <laughs> cold mm -hmm. turkey on it yeah, really that's, bad. That's really, really bad, yeah. And bad. Yeah. Is that paranoid schizophrenic, did you say? Yeah, I'm paranoid schizophrenic. Okay. That's 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 what we needed to get established. That's all. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask anything else about that. That's absolutely fine. So James once you after that scenario happened, he stopped you from taking medication that would have helped you with you know, yeah. so you're saying that when you came back, they diagnosed you with schizophrenia, you were supposed to take your medications, and Vaughn said to not take your medications. Yeah, I didn't want to become a drug addict. Okay, do you understand that because you were diagnosed with a medical problem that you needed medication for, it does not mean that you were a drug addict. You, you know that he was wrong, right, Mouse? He was wrong for yeah, telling you that. that. Because you did need the medication. <laughs> okay, who's a better singer, Rev or Von Hilton? Ooh. Oh, you know, one in on. one in the chat for Von Helton, two in the chat for Rev, <laughs> yeah. three in the chat for Queen. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Oh, 
I mean, I liked it earlier when you said that uh, that uh, Shani is actually technically a better singer than Queen. That was funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you're right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. she... Really bad. Rev yeah. is actually good at singing DuckTales, too. Like, I will give him that. Like, his <laughs> DuckTales... Duck, DuckTales, woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he might be a little bit better than Von Helton, but that's not saying much, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. A little bit better sometimes, maybe. They all seem to sing songs that are outside of... I mean, their range is limited, but outside of their range, too. Like, yes. you know, they pick things that... Like, like Rev singing... You were playing it yesterday, I think, Harry... He was, he was, was it a, um, see, uh, what's that garden, gar it's an Australian band. Anyway, it was, it was Savage a high pitch, Savage Garden, yeah, it was, I think it was a Savage Garden song. And yeah. he was real high pitch and it's like, he was trying real hard to get to notes. <laughs> it was <just> really <laughs> bad. And I love, I love it, Rev Rev's, um, songs though, because I love when he talks halfway through and shit. And gives like commentary. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> All these fucking microphone guys. It fucking sucks. Yeah, it just says this random shit. <laughs> and then he's always he'll be lighting a cigarette in the middle of the song and he's always like chain smoking during them. <laughs> <laughs> he'll just well, start hacking yeah. shit up too. In the middle One. of it. He'll just start hacking and shit. Doesn't care. <laughs> Looks like a one one. Uh one out. Uh, the one, one out. Yeah. It was one again. <laughs> I can't remember when it was one I again. I don't remember the choices. <laughs> You're really bad at hosting, man. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was one. I think it was one for Rev, and then two for Shani, three for Queen. I think. No, no, no. Vaughn. Vaughn was no. one. Vaughn. One. Yeah. Yeah. Vaughn was one. Write the fucking name. <laughs> the just, just, just write the name. <laughs> we can't count. <laughs> Oh god, Rev sucks. Rev does suck. <laughs> Except for Ducktales, he can sing Ducktales well. Like I give him that. Hey guys, can you just give me three thousand dollars, please? You ten, ten, just ten grand, guys, just to get on our feet. You know, just ten grand. See it clear. See way clear. You know, Shani needs a pizza. Clear. She needs a golden pizza. You know, they do. Is it, like, you can get those golden pizzas, and they cost like a thousand dollars. Have you seen mm -hmm. that? The oh, ones with no. the leaf on them? Yeah, the gold leaf ones oh. you can get. Yeah, the gold leaf doesn't wow. taste like anything. It's just a waste. No. It's yeah, like it's a just golden pretty. Store? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not a Shani. picture of beer. That's what Shani does for Rev. He calls it squirting, but no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, I, I, every time people talk about it, I can vividly remember it and him turning to the camera and giving a thumbs up. Oh, I know. <laughs> like he gave a up. Yeah, he was so he had his smile on his face and he gave a thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> that just reminds me of that fucking gif that you see of the of the kid from like the early nineties on the computer, and he like looks at you and gives you the the fucking thumbs up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you've yeah. seen that gif. Yeah, that's yeah. that's Rev. That was Rev as a child. <laughs> Watching oh, God. as a child being like, <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, Shani, you're going to be a star with this. <laughs> when he said yeah, that, you're going to be a star. About that, Shannon. <laughs> that was so and awesome. Remember, uh, there was a stream that we were watching just the other day. It was around the OnlyFans time, and he was talking about teaching, um, you know, guys how to make their woman mm. squirt he's like gonna give classes and shit <laughs> oh to david like, anthony can... yeah yeah he's telling oh, david anthony yeah, what he needs too. to do to please a woman <laughs> he's, awful, been, he's being super graphic about it <laughs> like just disgusting god <laughs> no um, shame oh, she made contact with me via facebook i don't have to use that facebook account anymore i don't use facebook was at that time, I was sitting on Facebook, and I was surprised that she contacted me. Maybe Bond told her to. I don't know. But out of the blue, one day I'm sitting there online, all of a sudden somebody messages me, and it was Andrea wanting to be my friend on Facebook, and then started sending me questions every day, you know, about what about, what do you think about this church? What do you think about this church? And I was like, well, you're going to um, Mennonite church, and I know they're pretty good, and their doctrine sounds, so just why don't you just stay there because you're walking distance from their church and everything. And 
that was kind of the conversation mostly. And then one day I'm sitting there and it was afternoon. I was getting ready to leave to Nashville and um, she, it's about dark, but you know, it's January, so it gets dark early then. And all of a sudden I get this little message and she's like, Hey, Darren, um, Von Helton's acting crazy. And I said, what's the uh -oh. matter? And he goes, he's yelling at me because I'm not, because uh, he wants to have more kids. And I've never agreed to that. And she's like, and Von, and Andrea's, you know, where it's in text format, but she's talking normally. And she goes, well, you have a talk with him. And I'm like, okay. So I go over to, you know, do a video call with him and then, Next thing I know, or he did a video call with me, and I can't remember which one it was. Probably him, because I don't really know how to do those well. But anyway, one, one way or the other, next thing you know, me and uh, Von Helton are face-to-face -face on our computers. And Von Helton, and I said, you know, Andrew's upset at you because you um, didn't want to, uh, or you want to have more than one wife. Now, if you know Von Helton, you know he's never going to find another wife. But, you know, it kind of taunting Andrea at that. And he's saying, well, yeah, because she can't get pregnant. She was sterilized. Enough. And she says, no, I wasn't. She's in the background. No, I wasn't sterilized. Yeah, you were. Cause we've been trying to have a child since, you know, he wants another child. He's mad at her because he can't have another. They already have three. Keep in mind that. Mm -hmm. And they can't pay mm -hmm. for them. Okay. Andrea, as sweet as she is, she's not a real good mommy. Okay. She doesn't have, she has temper problems and she gets upset over just little video games and she gets upset when the kids, you know, do things. And, and you know, I love Andrea. I think she's sweet as hell, but she really doesn't have the temperament to be a mom. And Von Helton is even worse as a father. He's totally, the, ignores his children when she's there. When she's there, they're her kids and he didn't want anything to do with them. That's my observation. Um, and then what happened was, and then, oh gosh, it was, it was just crazy. And she, she, every time she brought something up, he'd start yelling about that. And she, he's mad at me because I can't bring it. <laughs> and a little forced sterilization thing. And then and she says, and, and he promised he would go to church and come back. He goes, well, I'm not going to church because you're, you're not a lesbian anymore. And she's like, no, I never was. I never was bisexual or whatever. He said bisexual. I didn't say those men. And she says, I never was bisexual. Yeah, you were before you left. You were bisexual. And she said, no. She was saying, no, she wasn't. And, and Von Helton was saying she was. And, and and then next thing you know, she just cowered in the corner like this, kind of rocking back and forth in the corner. You can see her in her desk behind Von Helton's shoulder. She just rocking back and forth. And Von Helton's yelling at me. And I said, you know, I, I told him, play flat out. I said, I'm not against polygamy, but when you're on welfare, how can you be a polygamist if you want the taxpayers to pay for your polygamy? And he got, he got mad about that. And the next thing you know, I, I don't know, because it, it, this conversation was in January, 2015. It's already halfway through 2016. So I'm trying to remember the whole conversation. I do remember, you know, going back and forth about polygamy and going back and forth about Von Andrew not getting pregnant and going back and forth about his promises. And so he put these conditions on it. He mentioned it recently in a room that he put these conditions on Andrea, but he put the conditions on after she came back. So Von Helton doesn't understand if you're going to put conditions on, say, hey, if you come back, if you come back over to church, but under these conditions, you don't put under these conditions after they're already back. When Andrea comes back, says, well, you have to live up to these conditions for our church. But Von Helton promised he'd go to church. So, and she, regardless, you know, it's not about religion or anything. It's about a promise that Von Helton made to Andrea. If you come back, I will do this. And when she come back, he refused to do that because he added extra things to it. Now you got to do this to get me to do that. You see how his little madness is? And what do you know? A couple of days later, Andrea has a nervous breakdown and he wants to blame it on the trolls. But as you could see the madhouse that Andrea was living in. Von Helton put her under so much stress and she couldn't take it. She has a hard time handling stress anyway. She stresses out on video games, on, on 
on Facebook video games. You know those easy little Facebook video games? They can't get frustrated, I guess. I don't know. I don't like playing them. But, you know, some people like playing them and they get frustrated, I guess. My kids used to get frustrated over video games when they were little kids, and, you know. But if she gets frustrated over video games, then Von Helton wants to put all this extra added stress on her. She couldn't handle it, and she snapped. Well, I don't see much of a choice but to get a divorce. Uh, she was forcibly sterilized, and she's a nutcase. Uh, so, uh, she was forcibly sterilized? What? That's his claim, because she never wanted any more kids. So he's talking about making a clan. The clan Von Helton. So having, like, ten concubines and fifty children and shit. Um, so when, when, you know, he's, well, where's the other kids? Is she pregnant? And he's like... No, because she's been sterilized. And she's like, I haven't been sterilized. I just don't want to have any more kids. But he said oh. forcibly ster sterilized. Did he not? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's... I, I don't know where he's getting that from. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Wow. wow. Um, it's... I mean, this is going to sound like a super ignorant question, but it's an innocent one. CPS don't sterilize people for bad, being bad parents, do they? To no. stop of having no. more kids? <laughs> God. No. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, no, they don't. Because I've heard be things where they say, but... they say like, oh, yeah, you're, you're ordered, you're not not to have any more kids. I've heard that, but how do they stop them from having more kids? Uh, it's just like a criminal or just legal stuff if you do have more kids. Right. It's like if you do have more kids and they get automatically taken from you. I was just sort of so completely ignorant because I'm like, America's not that bad, is it? <laughs> no. No. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Yeah. And then plus she, she's hearing voices telling her to kill me and kill the kids. So yeah, of course I have to divorce her. I don't have a choice anymore. That's not... <laughs> divorce, divorce her instead of just getting her help and getting her back on the meds again. Like, it's the only choice. Got to divorce her. Mm -hmm. Reason for a divorce, idiot. If you loved her, you would stand by her. If my wife had a nervous breakdown, went in a mental hospital, I wouldn't divorce her. I would support her. I'd go visit her and see what she needed. I'd bring the kids to see her every once in a while. No, not you. You just, I'm going to divorce her because I want to get married to some other woman. That's the truth, isn't it? And now you're not finding any, huh? You thought, well, all these girls talking to me before I all my mirrors says Andrea had children with a different partner, so she was 100% not sterilized. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, good for her. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, good. that that's good, especially because he said forcibly sterilized. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he makes up these stories, these conspiracies. He's gr it's 99. I've never. Somebody else has said this too, but I agree. Uh, I've never met someone or, or heard someone. Um, be so wrong about everything all the time, like for like Von. Yeah. He's just like Shani Rev get things right occasionally, just by accident. Yeah, <laughs> this dude, he just gets everything wrong, everything. He may even be a flat earther too. Someone in the chat can tell me. I think he's a flat earther as well. Oh, I think he might be. Yeah, uh, something like that. I think. Yeah, any conspiracy, he will just latch onto. He loves a conspiracy. Wow. You can tell him anything. <laughs> And now Andrea came back, and now she's, you know, telling people about how he pulled a gun and all this stuff, and she's not agreeing with me with my polygamy views because I want to have more than one wife on welfare in a single wide trailer and all this other stuff that you're doing. I have no choice in the matter. Besides, she's not what I married anyway. I married a Wiccan bisexual. Now there's, now she's a Christian uh, heterosexual. Von Helton, you're a coward. No wonder you're afraid of me. I'm sorry you got sent to jail. It's Von Helton's fault. You got to realize that Von Helton is a bad person. Von Helton's very selfish and narcissistic, and he only cares about himself. And all you do is 
are there for him to use. Okay, Andrea, do better for yourself. Stay away from him. Take this as a lesson and stay as far away from him as you can. It was Ma Helton who called the police uh, when she found out that Andrew was back. Uh, she's tired of the circus. Uh, it's sorry that Andrea had to go through that, but I can understand Ma Helton not wanting now to support that anymore. The madness that goes on in the little trailer next to hers. Um, it's bad enough with just Von Helton there, and uh, she just didn't want to have to support another mouth to feed, and um, she did what she had to do. Uh, whether you agree with that or not, I hate that Andrea had to go to jail. Von Helton didn't. Pacific Northwest Jess is back, says, okay, so the kids wrote, I want food in their own feces on the wall when they were locked in what? their bedroom. No. Wow. Mm. What? That's what? awful. Where did we get that information, though? Um. Is it? You know, I, I've got a. I've like got a funny theater? feeling. I've. I've heard it. Um. I know there was a lots of shit that went on in because they. He, I know for a fact he did lock them in the bedroom when he was streaming, and uh, that off when they went and wow. um. Uh, CPS went and had a look in the the state of it. The bed was like turned upside down. There was rotten food on the floor. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise no. me. I, I haven't specifically heard that, but it wouldn't surprise me either, given um, the shit that was going on in that in those rooms. Awful. Didn't seem to care. He didn't seem to lift a finger to help her once this happened. I don't believe in breaking up families, but I think uh, in this case, Andrew needs to stay away from Von Helton. Next thing, he might not threaten with the gun. He may actually use it. Von Helton thinks he could shoot people for just being on his mom's property. If they knock on his door, he thinks he can just shoot them. He's already threatened to kill Kenny KPZ. We know oh, just for that matter, too, something you guys might not know, he, um, one of the uh, kids come up while he's on stream and said, you know, need, need a glass of water. And he said, you've had a Mountain Dew. That was his response. Go away, you've had a Mountain Dew. Wow. <laughs> It, it just unashamedly it just does that on stream. <laughs> it's just, just no shame in it for him at all. I know, yeah. It's crazy. You think he'd mute. Like, even Shani sometimes has the foresight to mute sometimes, <laughs> you know, when she's doing yeah. shit. But he yeah. just left, lets, it, lets it all go. And, yeah. yeah. You know that. We got that video footage. And he pulled a gun on you, Andrea. He may not have pointed that gun at you. But he threatened you with it. He basically said, if you don't do what he wants, you're going to get the gun. And Von Helton's nuts, Andrea. He's a nutter. Uh, stay away from him. Oh, by the way, just thought I'd tell you while I'm at it. I am now divorced. Officially. I am divorced. I get the paperwork Good. in a week. Uh, my attorney secretary just called me today. So the, the judge has signed the papers. I get it. I get my copy in a week. I am divorced. You know what that means? Fun time! Fun time. Oh, please. That right? <laughs> Fun time. <laughs> I'm divorced. Right. It's fun time now, guys. He just saw we, no we, women would be lining up at his door to for yeah. the Von Helton experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. Right, troll. Ain't that right, troll? Yeah, it's fun time. Now, I am not without compassion, so I will not do anything during the holiday season. I don't believe in that. And I won't. However, once warm weather breaks, say uh, March, April, whatever, whenever the warm weather breaks, it's game on, motherfuckers. I will get me a pro bono attorney, and we're gonna have we're gonna have us some fun. Oh yeah, we're gonna have us some fun. Ain't that right, Sean Merriman? Ain't that right, Paul Wayne? Oh yeah, we're gonna have us some fun. These uh, lost cows think that they can just settle everything in court. <laughs> just take I everyone know. to court. Every all, every one of them thinks, right? My dang court. 
<laughs> like, you haven't got any money, idiot. <laughs> right. They love yeah. to threaten that shit. Like, and it, it's like, it never works. I don't know why people say that. Like, has that ever actually intimidated anyone to not do it anymore? Like, not really. Not saying it, at least. I've only ever, there's only been a couple of times where that people were well funded um, that did take internet drama into court. Um, there's a couple of famous cases, but yeah, they were, they were, they were true lol, lol suits, like it was a waste of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. K, KGP, uh, non sequitur, you probably don't know much of the non sequitur show on Steve McRae and Kylie's partner. Oh they, my um, God, that yeah. shit. You got to cover that sometime because. That story with fucking Kyle Curtis and Steve McRae, that was just, that's fucking internet fucking history there, dude. Insane. Yeah, absolutely. And plot twists as well. And more plot twists than the, oh, than the Johnny Depp trial. Especially because <laughs> it turns out Steve McRae is also, like, he also fucking, like, didn't pay the person who came through to be his partner after Kyle yeah, lost the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Then they had a falling out. So it's all these idiots not doing it, just a, a LLC or just an agreement with each other. Like silent, like silent. I'm never going to have an agreement with silent because he's my slave. But yeah, that's a different wow. story. Oh. But, <laughs> you know? but 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 oh. if I was going to have an agreement with silent to be partner on the channel, I'd we'd set it out properly. Right. Like, right, you know, right. like Ka- Carrie's never going to have a God partnership man. with Michael. You're not going to go into LLC with Michael, are you? Like, <laughs> you, just bring, you just bring him on for entertainment, but he doesn't get half the channel. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, no. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> you know, I mean, also, they're married, so there's, like, yeah, know, true. common, you know, things that he would own financially. But that would only really come up if, like, she was being sued or they're getting a divorce or something. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, you know? But it was like it was it was <laughs> like they killed the channel. Like you're saying, I won't go into it too much. But they killed the channel with the dispute. It yeah. basically ruined it. They had thirty thousand subs. Ruined it. It was a great. Oh, I didn't mind. It was a great show. And they ruined the channel, destroyed it, and uh, then they tried to claim that damages was like a hundred grand for a wow. YouTube channel with thirty k. Like probably but... not. <laughs> probably oh. nowhere near that. And this uh, benefactor of Steve's, a friend of his, that's an Australian guy. Um, had you know had you know big pockets and he uh, he fronted mm. the, the lawyers and I think he was down sixty something thousand dollars and uh, his wife ended up leaving him because she found out what he'd been doing the the guy had been given Steve some idiot on the internet sixty grand to fight a lull suit and uh, wow. she went well I'm fucking leaving you you dumbass. <laughs> His marriage broke up there. over it. But yeah. It was just, just, it's a great story. You're right, Aunt Jesse. It's a fantastic story. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll cover it. That. I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I'll have to look into all that because I don't. I, I, I know I've heard the name Steve McRae and, a lot, but I don't know. And like, you know what's fun about. too is, is there's a Katie Joy Paulson tie-in. Mm, yeah, there is. Katie oh, Joy wow. and, and Kyle Curtis were like little besties, and then on top of that, oh. the fact that um. Uh, Steve McRae allegedly sexually harassed Katie Joy, so she got a fucking restraining order against yep. him, and he wasn't wow. allowed to mention her name. It's some shit, dude. He wanted Jeez. to fight it, and he wanted to go to court and fight it, and mm-hmm. uh, it's just it's wow. endless, and it's it touches all the communities that that drama it touched, it you know, drag uh, TGI to a lower extent, but um, you know, all the different communities are all sort of periphery to all that drama. And I, it was just great view, popcorn viewing, and um, yeah, you know, I don't know if you know Nate the lawyer. He's got like uh, probably three hundred thousand subs now, but he's back from the GDC days. Nate the lawyer, great channel. Um, he covered it like all the way through, and it actually made Business Insider news. Um, the actual lawsuit wow. itself, because it was so bizarre, like this fight over this channel with thirty thousand subs for a hundred yeah. grand in damages, and then wow. I thought, so that's what I'm getting too much into it. But Kyle counter sued for him using his artwork and not paying him like if he said he was just an employee well then where's my where's my money for the artwork and the music and the design so there's like this counter suit and <laughs> ridiculous wow what a mess <laughs> anyway the destruction of a man's marriage and the endangerment of his children simply because they don't like his opinions on the internet 
think warm weather is ever going to break up there in Kentucky. Um, nobody, no troll is at fault for the failure of your marriage. You're the one who took Andrea off her medications. You're the one who put her under through undue stress. You're the one who spent most of your waking hours on the internet and ignoring her pleas for attention. You did all that, Von Helton. No trolls had any hand in the, in the destruction of your marriage, but you, Von Helton. Only you, not Sean Merriman, not uh, Paul Wayman's, not Kenny KPZ, not uh, Secular Opinion. There was no Skype call. Your your marriage failed because of your failures. You can never be man enough to owe up to any of your failures, and that is why you continue to fail and fail and fail over and over again. You failed in the Army. You failed in, in your short stint in college. You failed at everything you've ever tried because you never take anybody's advice, and you always do things stupidly and that's why you failed von helton you failed 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 and then on top of that you say you did it for lulls you did it for the laughs for kicks oh god oh man is the judge gonna have fun with your happy ass <laughs> i hope to god i hope to god you guys have the balls to tell the judge that you did this shit for laughs <laughs> how come none of these cows can grow a beard <laughs> okay, you know, I feel a little personally attacked at that. It's filling in now. <laughs> what, you? Yeah, like, I, I have had your beard growth. I, it unfortunately looks a little bit like Vaughn's. I didn't call you a cow. <laughs> I'm just saying. That does not <laughs> want a cow. That's not, I'm just saying. <laughs> i have to review you next. They are not mutually exclusive. True, right? yeah. true, yeah. true. But they never seem to be able to, all the cows. They can't seem to grow facial hair. The male cows, I mean. The female ones can grow hair. <laughs> grow facial hair. <laughs> That's true. Unfortunately, double O chin hair, you know. <laughs> double O chin hair. Oh, great reference. That was uh, Michael Jesse, Fester. To... Oh, go ahead, what were you what? saying? I was just saying that was uh, Michael's best joke, double O chin hair. <laughs> yeah, he usually makes really corny ones. That one wasn't bad. She's still, um, a, she's still a mod here, Silent. Oh God! <laughs> Wait, uh, what? Yeah, I just yeah. haven't bothered. I, I, I don't know where to go and to, to take it away, so I've just left it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't guess you can do too too much damage there. But no, no. I can she's... show you how to do it if you want. <laughs> yeah, it might be a good idea. <laughs> um, but I was uh, gonna say, Auntie Jessie, you should do. Um, one of the body language videos on Vaughn, because I was just noticing, like, as he's talking and doing this, the body language is, like, screaming, so he might be a good one to cover. Shit. He might be. Oh my god, yes. And we need to set that up, and I need you to find some of the best, uh, I don't know how many videos exist where Shani is not talking to the chat. I would like to see some videos to analyze of hers where sort of like Rev was doing the last few days where he's just recording, saying what he needs to say to the camera, and then boom, he's done. Mm. And not reacting okay. to the chat. If we can find yeah. anything like that. I don't even know if that exists, because she's almost uh, always just live. I'll I'll try. I'll uh, Let me see if I can find anything like that. There's not going to be a lot, because, yeah, she's like, but no, there might yeah, be some. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Through the years, I'm <laughs> sure we can that. find some. <laughs> There's yeah, so yeah. much shit out there, yeah. Be interesting. Because <laughs> the judge won't be laughing, motherfucker. You mean the same judge that saw you for seven to eight times when you had your kids taken away by CPS and saw the condition of your house? Um, I don't think the judge is going to side in your your uh, favor ever, Von Helton. Um, the trolls did not cause your marriage to fail. Um, you can't take him to court. That's why you haven't taken him to court yet. You've been whining and crying that you're going to take him to court. It's just a threat because you're an abuser, and abusers threaten. Um, when you get backed into a corner, you make a threat. And the court is just another threat of your abusive nature. That's all it is. Bet on it. I don't think the judge will think it's funny. Hey, Kenny, how much is a marriage worth? Are you afraid of the dark, Kenny? Mm. What? 
I'm afraid of his ugly ass toothless face. <laughs> Jesus fuck. How much is a marriage that, worth? Like, <laughs> oof. About three fifty. <laughs> <laughs> $40, you guys. $40. Just $40, guys. Come on. Just 40 bucks. That's See the magic here. number. Well, there's that a song the that said, there's, there's a song that's the magic number. That could make a good parry song. 40 Ooh. bucks is the magic number. <laughs> it's the yes. magic number. <laughs> yes. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that would be awesome. And you're so upset at Kenny KPZ is because Kenny KPZ held a mirror up to your face and you didn't like it. He told Andrea that she needs to run for her own safety. Kenny KPZ ended up being right, didn't he? And you don't like it. It eats you up inside because you know Kenny KPZ was right. He didn't say anything that uh, was illegal. Uh, what he said was the truth, and you can't handle the truth, can you, Von Helden? How much is a marriage worth? You trolls need to be thinking about that. How much is a marriage worth? Now, I'm, I'm not a judge. I'm not a court. You know. So it's Thank God. To decide how much marriage is worth. Well, Civic Northwest Jess says, I saw Auntie Jessie dancing in a tutu. It was very entertaining. We, we need more of that. Did you? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's a whole ass uh, video that I did dancing to one yeah. of Billy the Fridges songs. And I have huge knives. And yep. uh, various medieval weaponry. Do you need me? Yeah, to I, I showed it. Um, <laughs> you can if you want. Yeah, I've shown it on my channel Hang before. On. It's funny. It is really funny. How much is a marriage worth? Maybe you should have thought of that before you pu pulled a gun on her, before you put your fist in her face, before you took your, your off her medication that she needed, before you stressed her out to no end, before you uh, neglected her, uh, before you put uh, insane demands upon her, before you made her do all the housework and all you did was take out the trash, before you refused to change diapers. How much is a marriage worth, Von Helton? How much... It's not worth much to you because you don't pay for anything. Isn't that right? Well, you pay for things that you get donations for, but that's a whole different topic. But, uh, Von Helton, you're the one who pulled the gun on her. You're the one who put your fist in her face. You're the one who took her off her medications. You're the one who destroyed your marriage. And th there is nothing no troll could have done that uh, could have... Uh... It's just stupidity. You don't take ownership for anything, Von Helton. You ruined your marriage. You ruined Andrea's life. And you did it all yourself. You have nobody else to blame but you. You want to know who did it? Go look in your mirror. That's who ruined your marriage. If you can read that before any rumors start flying, understand that my ex-wife cheated on me with 15 men, created numerous hate videos slandering me, cavorted with my enemies and made agreements with the very people that got her kids taken from her in the first place. Furthermore, further those same enemies that she is helping are the ones that, along with my mother and CPS, drove her completely batshit insane. She sees demons swinging from chandeliers and hears voices in her head telling her to kill her husband and children. Gee, I wonder how that happened, trolls. Yeah, you took a medication away, you idiot. Lastly, Judge <laughs> Judge Clark gave me unlimited power over who sees my kids and who doesn't. The only way she will ever see those kids is if she loses weight, comes back to paganism, and comes back to me, or coughs up the ten grand in back child support she owes me. She will uh, also have to provide him writing a formal retraction of every slanderous thing she said about me in those shitty ass videos, whether she returns to me or not. If she does not, she will face charges of slander, defamation, libel, and anything else I can get to stick. Now, is there anyone that is still confused about this? Such a lovely guy. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is a post from Facebook about a year ago where Andrea is hoping to get uh, custody of the kids. Uh, she definitely loves those kids and misses them very much. So any of you think that Andrea just left and doesn't care about her kids, I'm sure that haunts her all the time that she can't see the kids that she 
um, bore, you know, held in her uh, womb for all that time. You know, she misses those kids, and and it's only natural. So it's only natural that uh, Irv, old Bonnie boy, um, responded to it. Uh, and I'm going to close up in on here and show you some of the insanity, the insane demands, the abuse that he continues to try to put Andrea through. He starts out by claiming that she had sex with 15 men and that uh, she uh, made hate videos slandering him. Well, the truth is not slander, Von Helton. I'm sorry about your luck. Um, this is a beginning. I mean, this, this not the beginning, but this is just, uh, this is his response, which is so abusive. Uh, it isn't even funny. Um, I beg you to find more abusive uh, speech than this uh, particular post. As you see, he demands that she lose weight. She has to lose weight in order to see her kids again. Um, what kind of insanity is that? A judge is going to agree to that. A judge decides whether she gets to see her kids or not, not Von Helton. And he can't base it on her losing weight. Then he demands that she, go, that she changes her religion. Um, that is that is downright evil to make that demand. A, a religion is someone's personal beliefs, and he wants to control her all the way down to her soul. That is diabolical at best. That is, uh, I mean, I don't even have words to explain how wrong that is. No judge would even give Von Helton the uh, ultimate power over and. Uh, a um, gerbil, the, the very words he used, ultimate power, then he puts it in bold capital letters with parentheses or with, you know, quotation marks on each side, ultimate power over his kids. Uh, not even a parent who's never been in trouble has ultimate power over your kids. To even say that is he's a controlling, abusive, manipulative piece of crap to even claim that or even to make that kind of a statement. This right here is he's demanding her to tell a lie, to put a lie in writing that, you know, she claims a slander, but the truth is not slander. She wants, she want, he wants her to twist the truth to make him look good because he doesn't like to be exposed. He doesn't want the truth told about him. And so he wants Andrea to lie. That is what he's really saying here. Uh, we all know, everybody knows about Von Helton, so... Um, not face charges of slander, defamation, and libel, um, which is ridiculous. Uh, so I guess Andrea is going to be taken to Lowell's court with all us trolls, I guess, um, which will never happen because the truth is not slander. The truth is not, it could be defamation, I don't know. It's not liable. Uh, she didn't say anything in writing anyway. Von Helton's stupid. He's a, a real estate lawyer, not a any other kind of lawyer, I guess, so he doesn't know what liable means. Um, liable, and uh, he defamations his own character, if you ask me. So in this picture, again, to go to the bottom part of it, where it says 10 grand in back child support, he owes, she owes him. He can't decide how much child support she owes. She's on limited income. She can't work because of her disabilities, and uh, she, so I, she doesn't owe a penny in child support. Uh, and the courts decide how much you pay in child support and how much you owe in child support. So Von Helm's way off base on this one. In conclusion, I think I made my case that uh, no trolls or nobody's responsible for the destruction of Von Helton's marriage other than Von Helton himself. Andrew is not even responsible in the least bit. Only Von Helton destroyed his marriage. Von Helton abused Andrea in multiple ways. In, he abused her spiritually by demanding her to become a pagan. He, he abused her emotionally, and I don't even have to go into that. I think this video fully expresses that. He threatened her with a death threat by showing her a gun and saying he could kill her for, uh, you know, not doing what he tells her, uh, basically. I mean, and he put a fist in her face because he threw a pop, she threw a pop can at his computer, which is his livelihood. <coughs> he loves his internet life more than his family. He uh, not only uh, neglected his kids, he neglected his wife. Any woman 
who would even dare think about going to Von Helton, uh, lay, stay away from him. He's dangerous. You're better off by yourself. I don't care how lonely a woman is. She does need to go into that madness. Von Helton cannot uh, handle having a wife. He wants to control her and use her and manipulate her to do his will. And he doesn't even have control of his own life, let alone try to control somebody else's life. Von Helton has no business uh, being in a relationship with anybody. He might as well just buy a hooker because that's the only way he's going to have sex. He should have sex. Um, <laughs> period. I don't even know why I said that, but uh, wow. uh, the poor hooker <laughs> that would have to smell his. <laughs> oh. Hooker's <laughs> have to no. smell him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and though, and though, and that those feet. Oh my God! Yeah, we we gotta we gotta find a picture of the feet or something, so people can yeah. see these talons. It's it's your your task, silent. Oh Lord. <laughs> BL would be. Uh, <laughs> I could imagine that'd be horrible, wouldn't it? This is not a hate video because I don't hate Von Helton. I don't hate anybody. Hate is not something I do. Um, I despise Von Helton. I'm uh, sickened by Von Helton, but I got to understand that not everything that Von Helton does is false. Some of it is because of his, he has some mental illness. I don't think he's schizophrenic. I, 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 I mean, maybe a little bit. He just definitely got some paranoia in there. So, but the other thing about Von Helton, and this is putting it bluntly, he's just downright stupid. Did he take her off her medication because he's just that stupid? He claims he has medical knowledge that he was an EMT and that he worked in his mom's nursing home as an orderly and that gives him all this medical knowledge. Von Helton has proven that he has zero medical knowledge because anybody from a, a nurse to a CNA to a, a LPN to an EMT, a paramedic, a phlebotomist, a physician's assistant, any of those nurses' aides would know that you don't take somebody off medication. That's one of the most basic uh, things. Nobody prescribes medication to anybody but a doctor. Nobody takes somebody off medication but a doctor. That's the only person who has the right to do that, unless you're on medication. I guess you have a right to take yourself off the medication, but that's just ignorant, really. Um, you can go see a different doctor to have another doctor take you off the medication. But for Von Helton to detox his wife off a of medication uh, just shows that he's not capable of being married, uh, period. And, and taking this disabled woman and putting her through that kind of abuse. And now we know Von Helton has children under his care. Doesn't that make you sick? That's going to do it. Well, the present day and better tomorrow. Ladies or girls, Von Helton is insane. Stay the hell away from that degenerate, half-witted <laughs> nutter. PSA. Von Helton is a dangerous man. He is self... Self... He is... Selfless? selfless. Well, no? it says selfish. Selfish, selfish, yeah on steroid he doesn't know the meaning of caring for others he only cares for himself okay mm -hmm. i i get you that's some fuck shit <laughs> let me drop the channel where i got this from um i don't know if i'm set up for trivia silent uh, unless is it too light for you guys? I'm. It doesn't matter to me. I did. Um. I don't know if you saw in the chat, but I pulled. I found Auntie Jessie's video dancing in the tutu. Yeah. If, if you, you want to fucking want play to it, go for that. it. Let me play. Stream. Now you got to redo it. There, there we, we go. go. There we are. The bills hanging up, just music. Fuck yeah! Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hundred thousand dollar watch, hundred million dollar yachts. Honey's dripping down my crotch. They don't hear me though. 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 Got the cash in the cars, the cars. They don't hear me. Buying bottles in the bars, the bars. They don't hear me. Go and kick it with the stars, the stars. We out here living large, we large. Bitch, I'm hot now. Lil Caesars, rolling with your top down, nipple teasers, about to blow the spot, Middle Eastern, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby, now triple Caesar, living life like a rock star, Vice City, buy yourself a new purse and some nice titties, live it up, don't give a fuck about the price, give me rock diamonds, cold blooded, got the ice in me, money raining, nothing changing but the gender roles, Booty shaking, cuties naked on the stripper poles. High enough, shy a little buffer, bitch, I'm digging holes. Hundred million dollar baller, I got bigger goals. I feel like all my friends are millionaires. They spending money like some dummies, man, it's real unfair. Living lavish like a habit and they still don't care. So much money, it ain't funny, man, it's real out there. Hundred thousand dollar watch, hundred million dollar yachts, honey's dripping down my crotch. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me. They don't hear me though. 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 Got the cash in the cars, the cars. They don't hear me. Buy your bottles in the bars, the bars. They don't hear me. Go and kick it with the stars, the stars. They don't hear me. We out here living large, we large. It's a given, how I'm living is a luxury Being broke, what a joke, bet it sucks to be Pretty boy, all the haters looking ugly Even Rihanna gonna wanna make love to me Yeah, kissing girls on the mouth, dude Full house of bad bitches saying how rude Buying hoes designer clothes, they going out nude Hear me knocking window shopping, but it's soundproof Put the muscle to the hustle, call me Papa Pump. Trigger warning, liquor pouring, man, I'm awful drunk. Don't give a fuck, I'll pass the buck off to an honest chump. It's a habit, I just grab it like I'm Donald Trump. I swear to God, all my fucking friends are millionaires. They spending money like some dummies, man, it's real unfair. Living lavish like a habit and they still don't care. So much money, it ain't funny, man, it's real out there. Hundred thousand dollar watch, hundred million dollar yachts, honey's dripping down my crotch. They don't hear me though. They don't hear me. They don't hear me though. 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 Got the cash in the cars, the cars. They don't hear me. Buy your bottles in the bars, the bars. They don't hear me. Go and kick it with the stars, the stars. They don't hear me. We out here living large, we large. Now I've got questions. Yes, I'm here to answer them. What's up? Did you get any strange looks? Uh, so we filmed that um, on Thanksgiving. It was like um, the weekend before I had spine surgery. Um, we were a little worried that perhaps, uh, you know, the police would be called because I have large weapons out in public and I'm just kind of like twerking in the middle of nowhere. Um it turns yeah those were actually like parks and stuff um it like, turns out that downtown. yeah downtown park um the the scenes where i'm at the fountain and uh the the giant cannon and stuff uh it turns out the cops didn't come because there was a murder like two blocks over and they were investigating that so they didn't have time to deal with the fucking knife ballerina that day uh i guess i made that for uh the drunken peasants uh podcast they have something called actual mania where 
they used to do it like cows against cows. Like I think Von Helton has, you know, been in it. But then they said, you know, hey, you know what we should do is we should have people come in and, uh, you know, uh, compete against each other. Well, okay, right. So audience members participated. There were no women in this competition. It was a fucking sausage fest. So I showed up. <laughs> to be fair, another girl named Jess also showed up and like a dick and put us against each other. Um, Aww. Which I think is so stupid. But I won because, oh, you could f- fucking not vote for that. And it's, you know, audience <laughs> votes, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I fucking, I won as fuck. Um, and I won for a couple of months, but, uh, That's it got awesome. weird over there. So I stopped doing it, Uh-oh. but I do need, I need to make more, uh, knife ballerina, uh, videos yes. now that I've recovered from my surgery. It. Um, yeah, you know, I, I will definitely yeah. do that. Uh, it is, it is I will a... do that <laughs> if, if I reach a thousand subs there on you YouTube, go. I'm, I'm <laughs> at, like 780 right now you guys will get me to a thousand and i will go uh knife twerking um in front of the police station <laughs> let me grab her link to her channel really quick yeah, for yeah. you guys yeah i found yeah, by the you. way uh lol scal i found a video with uh von's feet in them if you want to take a look at it yeah, want is the not the right word to use greetings <laughs> Is it is is there a timestamp or is it was? Go yeah, go to ten nineteen. Right around there is good. We're gonna see him <laughs> in a second. Okay. If I'm still, it's for some nudity, ladies. Look. Oh God! <laughs> Look. Do you see that? Wow. Oh my god, they're claws. Those are devil claws. Fucking see that. Tell me that is not insane looking. Like it looks like a fucking werewolf. It's not even (laughs) it's not even ingrown toenails. Those are literal fucking (laughs) devil claws. These toenails have got toenails. Oh my god. The toenails have toenails. Yeah. And he did, wasn't too, he wasn't too embarrassed to literally he posted this video himself, like why no shame like we were saying earlier he has no shame he has no shame clearly because he posted this too. Um, just, someone someone just emailed me. Let me see if I can emailed me a picture as well. Oh my god! Please tell me it's lower <laughs> res. Oh, there it is. How come I can't blow it up? Because oh. Jesus is real and saves us all. <laughs> there you go. Oh God! Hang on, the the the, the, the thing I can't see it. The chat can't see it. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Oh. There you go, guys. So just bad. just uh, just forty bucks for a pedicure, please. <laughs> oh, Ow! It it actually looks painful. Like, it probably so is. The way, like, you know how, I mean, if you don't trim your dog's claws, you know what I yes. mean? Like, it's, it's it's painful for them. Like, you need to do that. Like, yes. it that has some of the, the way that, like, that second toe nail, it, like, oh, that, that has to hurt. And he has to have to wear, mm. like, shoes that are a little bit big or something because... That, He's not wearing know, shoes. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. Probably I, mean, go I was going to say... I was going to say something like, how does he wear shoes? And then I remembered, you know, he probably doesn't leave his house. Yeah, no shot. Yeah. And, and it looks like he uh, much, got some swelling on that one foot. He might have, like, lymphedema or some shit. Or oh, poor circulation. I didn't notice that until you said that. Yeah. But that one is definitely bigger than the other. Mm-hmm. Or, 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 the or some heart problems. Um, swelling yeah, feet, very likely, yeah. Problems. Maybe yeah, he can't likely. reach the toenails. Maybe that's why. He needs to go to... Oh. <laughs> he, he's like, he would go to a, a salon to get it done, and he'd be like real-life Dumb and Dumber. Do you remember that oh, movie? Oh, yeah. Movie where they're like shaving <laughs> it with like a chainsaw or something, like a, a table saw, I mean. Because I feel like he'd get turned away. So long. I yeah, like I mean, I would, I would 
definitely, if it was me, I would not want to be touching those feet. No, 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 no. He's probably got like a fungus or something going on in there oh. too. Because yeah. it's like that's very surgical. yellow. At yeah, that point, they would. They would. That is surgical. They would remove his <laughs> entire toenails. Yeah, because it's. Toenail. Yeah, because it's like the sides of the toe are like pinching the toe bed so it's like the whole toenail is there but it's like curved inward on both sides does he, that's he, what's making it does look he have diabetes does he have probably. diabetes probably yeah, i was I mean, gonna say i know yeah. if he had i know if he had diabetes like he would definitely not need to fucking clip them because isn't that he, like a big you no -no? Are diabetic in fact i want to do a deep dive on diabetes with you uh yeah Harry. yeah um, when you're diabetic, something like that, uh, I mean, they send, they send you to the fucking podiatrist. Yes. Because they yeah. have to, like, I have to go every three months. They want to look at my feet. And wow. they also prescribe, um, shoes. I get a pair of shoes every year that are like, you know, they like measure, um, the fucking topography of my fucking foot. And I get like custom soles and shit. But wow. like. This sort of thing, like, they would, that is completely, we have to remove these toenails. That is a what medical would what, emergency. What is the, um, what is the danger of that, though? Like, what could happen if he was well, to try to... Okay, so if he's diabetic, then he, he's healing very slowly. And oh, diabetic okay. people tend to have um, what's called um, peripheral neuropathy, which means that there's less circulation and less feeling in your extremities, especially your feet, which hands too, but your feet are a big deal. And um, like what happens for a lot of people who have diabetes and have this peripheral neuropathy and perhaps um, people who are um, more overweight and aren't doing a whole lot of exercise and not super aware of what's going on, uh, down that far on their body, if anywhere, is they will like get a uh, like have you ever, you know what a goat head is? Those little stickers, those horrible mm, little nasty yeah. little fucking they're like burrs. They were, yeah, we yeah. call them. I was gonna say spurs. I think here spurs. Yeah, you, whatever they call you know little thorns. They're like little a thorns. little freaking yeah. It's a circle, right? Or, it's round. Or you know you you break a dish in your kitchen and some glass gets in your foot, or you mm. step on a thumbtack. The thing is, is that some of these people will not even feel it, and they oh. will walk around for you know weeks with a big pussy infected wound. Oh. That they have no idea about, and that's that's why wow. they end up having to get um, uh, amputations because it's like, dude, this is too far gone. We can't do anything. So this is wow. why you need to go in and get your feet. And you know, my doctor. I mean, I'm not at high risk of that. I do have the neuropathy, but like, I can see my feet, <laughs> and yeah. I can, you know, I'm not I'm not completely unable uh, to take care of my feet. But like, I have gotten a wound in my foot. And they treat it very seriously. It's like, it's mm -hmm. not just a boo-boo. It's like, okay, we need to make an appointment to see you every two weeks to make sure that it's healing correctly. Like, yeah. it's some fuck shit, See, dude. I don't think it's people know, deal. like, yeah, I don't think some people, like, know stuff like, like, they don't. all kinds and of so, stuff like that that you have to deal with. Yeah, and something like this, looking at these toes, that those are so uh -huh. ingrown that, mm -hmm. like, I mean... <sighs> Aside from the fact that it's gross and uncomfortable, like, they could be getting infected. And with them being mm -hmm. that long and disgusting, they're probably getting a lot of dirt bacteria, and, and nasty fuck shit. Uh, probably, <clears throat> um, you know, bacteria. He, has with, dog um... he had dogs that were, like, pissing and shitting all over the freaking place. So he oh, probably, yeah, yeah, if he's going around barefoot. Ugh. That's so absolutely gross. disgusting. And... You know, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that he was a piece of shit, um, you know, it's sad. And I mean, I guess on a human yeah. level, it is sad, but it's also just so fucking like, oh, oh my God. Like, how you, how do you see that as okay, as normal? Yeah. 
Like, Thank God people, he doesn't have the kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, his... people people get used to a, you know, quote unquote new normal. People don't realize what is abnormal, right? But like, mm-hmm. dude, brother. Those are that ain't normal. Like three inches of- <laughs> that is not oh, normal. Oh my god. Oh my god. You better stop subjecting the audience to <laughs> Yeah. Are they sending you all kinds of scary shit there? <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm set up for the trivia silent. I just, I, just... I don't, I don't want to accidentally flick over to the Jackbox view and then have a show like all the carry server. <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't, I don't, I haven't set it up. I didn't know I was going to do trivia. Um, okay. they're probably yeah. probably not a good idea. Well, if I, oh, I we guess we do it on a different stream or whatever, like tomorrow or whenever. I mean, how often yeah. are you planning on going live to do this shit? Well, I'll just start a new job tomorrow, so this is why oh. I did two in a row, because I don't know how much time yeah. I'm going to have. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, but this has been fun. This has been really fun. Um, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Thank everybody, so for coming. Thanks me. for uh, put the links yeah, to Aunt Jessie's channel and Carrie's channel. I'm sure everybody knows Carrie's God, channel bro. already, but put it in there. <laughs> Silent Dance Monkey Dance, yeah. put it in there for me. Hit me. Oh Hit me, God. children. Fucking put that link in there. Get me to um, a thousand sub- subscribers and I'll do another knife dancing ballerina video in front of the police station. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to play the Von Helton. <laughs> I'll play the Von Helton song to play us out. We just Yay. load it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. Thanks for having me on, Los Cal. Thanks, Carmen. I'm on Hilton, I think I'm special on the inner tips, I'll say anything I want to, I'll say anything at all, and I'm sitting here lazy and my kids are gone, my feet are covered in damn corns, and I'm only five foot tall. You know I'm not ashamed of anything Never leaving this trailer I've been existing in I starve dogs easy, I'm dead inside But if you need me to politicize I'm from Del Tim, yeah To the gods I have a prayer Tune in to me on Odyssey I never leave for a peak And I'm pissing Right here on this little chair But I couldn't really care I should really deal to right You see, all I talk about is conspiracies What I couldn't resist despite the fallacies If you are ethnic or the color brown You should be taken down sound I never let weak old green pizza go to waste Cause I lost my taste buds years ago Yes, I used to be a vampire and a bounty hunter But I retired now, I share my views I never said I hated you Come over here, boy. Come over here, Midnight. Come to your daddy. Oh, that's right, you're dead. The trolls killed you, didn't they? No, it should be a 
measure for a man who's strong To look after animals and feed the dang dogs I bet Secular will do a review of this But I've never given a fuck, you bitch Oh, it's in the God's hands I'm Bob Peltec I don't have a clue right now But I never had one anyhow I really let it show Oh, I'm on hell trail Shameless as a man can be You can hate and that's cool with me I just wanted you to know I'm on hell trail That's right guys, I'm on help the truth I'm on help Yeah I'm a big male I'm a big male Vote help guys! <laughs>